Let's see if this goes on. All right. It should be popping up. It says we're being live streamed. Don't click the X, Toonie. <laughs> <Don't>, <laughs> yeah, that should be the warning for you always. Like, Toonie, don't click oh, the X. That should, that should say that. All right. It should be popping up. Come on, come on. It says we're being live streamed. Boom. It should be popping up. Don't. There. Somebody's got that show going. Now, I already put on, what is that called? Mute. Oh, yeah. crooked. I'll get your pop out chat just a second. Thank you, Melon. Let's see if it's if it's if it's all uh, right now. Hold on. Pop out. Pop out. Pop out. Pop, pop out. it out. The hell is happening? Where's my volume? All this stuff happening. Oh, I'm talking. Volume. All right. Go to live chat, not top chat. Here you go. Hi, Hi. <laughs> Hi Jonathan. Hi, JP. Hi, oh. Extra. Hi, Johnny Cash. Uh, Hi, Cash. Heather, how are you? Yes, you are definitely new to the family and welcome, welcome. Everybody tell Emmer hello and welcome from hello. Ireland. And Grog. From Ireland, oh. Addy. Look at that. I'm all the way over there. <laughs> Grog. Hi, Grog. Yeah. <laughs> Curtis, how are you? Jeff, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Michael, how you doing? Mallory, how are you? Mallory. Anne Marie, how are you, sweetie? Evening, Arnie. How are you? Arnie. Welcome, welcome. Bon I had to turn, turn my scale on. Tank, taking a while to absorb. Gotta the, get the warmed up. Yeah, get her warmed oh. up. Thank you, extra. Kathy Benjamin, how are you? Wow, we got some new names in here. I'm really Way to go, happy MC extra. Barry Five Jones. weeks, no cigs. Huh? Five weeks, no six for MC Extra. Awesome. All right. Congratulations. Yay. Everybody say got congratulations. It down. You got MC it now. Extra. Harry, how are you doing? That He's from good. Edinburgh because you know, I'm special. Um, uh, thank you so much, Emmer. And we're so happy that you're here. Breno, how are you? Hello. Trudy. Trudy, look what I got. I got a new case. And I got this instead of the thing that you got. And it's not a popper. And I put it on the side because I wanted my picture to show. <laughs> what is that <laughs> thing? What is it? It's for you to hold the phone. Oh, it's like a little. Uh... Yeah, instead of you having a popper. Well, I'm usually doing it with this hand. That's why it's on this side. So it's and like I a can... little a ribbon. No, I can't or... do it because now I'm like online. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you just hold it like that. It's like a wrist strap, but a finger strap. Yeah. And, and. It's a it's stand. Got legs. I can never get it with that now. It's got legs. I just had this up. Like, what the freak, man? How can it have legs? So it has legs. But the thing is, is that with the legs, it literally stands up. It's not one of those um, those phone holders that, like, you know, it lays all the way back and you're like, oh, I just want to stand it up. And it stands it up like perfectly, perfectly straight. So, yeah. oh, nice. 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 And so I bought that and I bought the case because I had to buy the strap because, well, it was pink, so it matched it. But I have a black strap too. So it came like in a four pack. Really, really excited about it. And because of Trudy, I, I went and started looking. But um, because <laughs> I got bored of my case. How does it stick to the case? It's got the sticker, just like a, a pop socket has a, the sticker that you put to the phone, the same difference. Oh, okay. But I put mine on the side rather than the middle because I'm like, whenever I'm holding it, I'm always scrolling with my right hand, but I'm holding it with my left. So that's why I was like, okay, but even with my left hand, I can still hold it that way or my right hand. So it, it works. I like it on the side like that. That's cool. And Thanks plus it makes her. me different. So, you know. <laughs> But yeah, I had to tell Trudy. I was waiting for Trudy to come in so I could tell her. Uh, let me see who else came in. Who else came in? Um, Timekeeper did. Timekeeper, advocate for liberty. Advocate. Hi, Lady Casey. Liberty. Look, we got new people. Everybody say hello to all the new people because these are names that I haven't seen before. And I really appreciate you being here. So Cece, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Michael Bassett, how you doing? Uh, thank you so much, Michael. It really bothers me if I don't. <laughs> Robert Potts, how you doing, sweetie? Hi, Potts. Lady Liberty. Lady Liberty. Lady Liberty. T. I'm well, thank you. I'm so sorry about that, Amory. Amory's dog is sick. Oh. 
but um she's i guess i think the dog's feeling better knocks out how you doing sweetie wow are you, are you a newbie no i'm just kidding <laughs> james Caposi, how are you doing hey james I know, Trudy. It's so exciting. Ricky Mahoney. Chi Chi. Hey. You got the Vupu Vinci. That rhymes with you. Chi Chi Vinci, you know? And Cherokee. Um, yes. I'm still going down the line before I get to. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Al Ben, how are you? Cherokee oh, Reaper. We've got Lady Liberty. Got, got you, Ricky Mahoney. How you doing? Amber. Welcome, Amber. welcome, Trudy. Um, boom, 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 Trudy, Cherokee, Al, Timekeeper, Graw, John Lamoro. Lamoro. I hope I'm saying that right. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Amber. Um, what's everybody vaping on me right now is Candy King Batch, and I'll be vaping a Twisted Blend. Awesome, awesome. Chichi, what's everybody's favorite blue ras lemon juice? Blue ras lemon juice. Not really into blue ras lemon, personally. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you. Now, if you say blue ras, I'm going to say the pucker. What is it called? The something pucker. Oh, um, Tony B stuff? Yeah. What is it called? Blue pucker? Blue pucker. I think, yeah, I think so. Yeah, blue pucker is my favorite all time. If I could make another one just like that, I would. And I would. I wonder if he's still it selling it. it. Huh? I wonder if he's still selling it. I wonder if it's still out there. I really haven't looked for it, but it's, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like a blue, blue rasp slushy, but it tastes like the syrupy part at the bottom, you know, that you always save for the end. And then after you eat all the icy part, then you like, and it's good. That's the, that's exactly what his tastes like. I absolutely love it. Um, let me see. Let me see. Kathy Gibbs. How you doing, sweetie? Kathy. Yes. Amber is off six. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, it's sold out everywhere. There you go. Yeah, probably because people are stocking up on that shit. That shit is good. Like, I want the recipe for reels. Like, for reels, reels. Like, you no know, reels. I don't know if these places are being real receptive with everybody's PMTA getting shut down, but a lot of them promised to share the recipe if they couldn't, if they... Oh, really? If, yeah. I don't. I don't think they will because they just, like... They, they're gone they're just gone i gotta head up mike vapes because let's see if what his plans are i mean some people have went overseas to have the, have their liquid yeah. made and it's so funny because that's uh, where i was and mine got shut down yeah you're in israel oh uh, hi Danaya. it's been very very long i'm so happy to have you back do, 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 do. Maria, uh, Maria, how happy you vape anniversary time timekeeper october 1st was his eighth year oh nice sweet Oh, that's great. Yeah. So we started about the same time, 2013. Um, Coco, welcome, Coco. Go. It's my oh, that's funny, Emmer. SVK Vapes, welcome, welcome. I'm saving this some some tobacco for you. you want me to send it to you, Wendy? What it's is a nice, a tobacco? A nice, no, a nice thank you. Clove and tobacco, or a little bit of Ryan custard in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, coconut. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Yes, that one is good. That one is good, Chi Chi. The Fruit Monster Frozen Blueberry Raspberry Lemon Ice is good. It's just that the lemon, I, I have to like space it out. I can't like just vape it back to back because I'm not really into lemon like that. So lemonades are like hard for me to like stick to. I'm kind of bad that way. I'm a, I'm a lemonade cheater. And I admit it, so it's not a problem. Jose. Uh, Hi, Kevin. Jose, how you doing? Kevin, welcome, sweetie. Erwin. Erwin. <gasps> happy, it was Erwin's birthday, October 2nd. Happy belated birthday, Erwin. There you go. Happy birthday. Go ahead and sing to him. <laughs> happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday to you. <laughs> happy belated birthday there, Erwin. Happy belated birthday to you. See, I even have a birthday singer here. <laughs> Who else has that? Nobody. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. You don't taste the lemon much? I, I'm lemon lemon sensitive because I don't like it so much. So, of course, it's going to come out for me more. Hi, Jack Daniels. That's one that I want to make the flavor of. A Jack and Coke. And we need to get Mandalorian. Jack and Coke. I need to look up your recipe again. 
Lemon's gotten a lot better before lemon. All you could ever taste was um, lemon pledge. Lemon pledge. Yep. Now no, there's I taste a real lemon. It's just that even in real life, I don't drink lemonade. I just don't like lemon. I don't like the taste of lemonade. If it's like even like a raspberry, I can take a few sips, but it's not something I'll drink regular. Yeah, regular. So that's the Vaporessa swag. That thing is so slick. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the coils Ooh, are so good. Sounds good, Curtis. Come on, dude. Hi, Robin. And Jack Daniels in the chat. Man, I got the Ragnar RT. Yes, the Ragnar is freaking bomb. Like, you can't go wrong with the Ragnar. Jack used to be my friend. Not anymore. <laughs> Why? Because you started playing with yourself? And no, then she, went, then she went to the rooster. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Jack Daniels is brutal. Hi, what Robin. Is, what is that stuff that you guys, you and Scuba drink? It's called Fighting Cock. That's it. <laughs> Fighting cock? Yeah. It's that I would probably drink. It's 101 proof bourbon. Oh, wow. But you don't get a hangover from it. It's really weird. And I tried to get a hangover from it, and I did not get a hangover from it. <laughs> and that is so sad. That's just messed up. If you're going to drink something like that, you should be able to get one. Yeah. <laughs> Abdul, yes, it was in the news. It was Facebook, WhatsApp, I think Instagram. It was yep. a few different uh, social media sites that were down. I, yeah, definitely Instagram because yep. I lost a post because it was supposedly uploading and it never did. Um, Jack and Coke, yeah. Been I can't believe it, man. Years. Facebook, it was driving me crazy that Facebook was down. Lemon, the only lemon meringue, which it's really like a lime meringue that I've ever had that I can continue to vape all the way through is this key, it's actually a key lime pie. And I always forget that it's a key lime pie. It's actually 3.14, which of course, you know, means pie. It's this one here. And this was from Northern North Shore um, Vapor. And this was so good that I still keep a little bit because I still want to duplicate it. This was the only one that's got like a lemon, lime, key lime, whatever that I can vape. And I can't figure it out. It's freaking amazing. This one I can bake. This one, and I don't even like key lime pie in real life. So, Scuba. Hey, Scuba. Um, Ronnie, Ronnie, new viewer here. Oh, Ronnie's new too. We've got a lot of new people in chat. That's today, awesome. So, please reach out and just say hello and welcome. <laughs> um, Scuba, how you doing? Did I say hi to Scuba? I don't think I did. Hi, Scuba. I want to know, Scuba, how how you feeling, Scuba? He yeah, was how you feeling. He wasn't doing so hot Friday. Friday wasn't feeling so good. I wasn't feeling good Friday either. You know why? Because it was just a bad day. It was a really bad day. I'm sorry uh, I had a bad day. Hi, Bob. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I've been overly stressed again. And Saturday I was supposed to be doing reviews and doing editing. And I, and I really, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even change out of my nightgown. And I just stayed watching TV all day. Well, how come, you know, when you're just staying your nightgown, we're supposed to get up those videos. Yeah, no, mm -mm, no, nope. <laughs> not doing it. So anyways, then I had a cheat day. So I've got McDonald's to eat all day. And when I say that, I mean that I got McDonald's to eat all day. So I got different sandwiches and stuff. So that throughout the day, I could eat McDonald's. Man. Is, that your, is that your comfort? When I cheat, I cheat good. Is it? Yeah. Is that your comfort food? Uh, no, it's just something that I wasn't having for a long time. And I was like, I want fucking McDonald's. <laughs> what I would give for a Big Mac, man. That's one thing that would draw me there. Yeah, I, I have Big Mac. Oh, you know what I bought right before I started like watching everything that I'm eating? I bought the Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce from Walmart. What? And I have a big, big bottle. It's it's the same exact Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A. I promise you. And it's actually the Chick-fil-A brand. So I had just bought it. And then, of course, it was something that I couldn't have. And I was like, man, so on my cheat day, I bought 40 chicken nuggets. <laughs> I didn't eat them all in one city and I did share. And I had that with the freaking Polynesian sauce. And it is the best combination ever. We went to Chick-fil-A three times now and the lion's been out to the street. 
So we still so haven't. Buy the Chick-fil-A sauce and go and get you some chicken nuggets. Okay. That's all you need. I'm telling you that Chick-fil-A sauce, the Polynesian is absolutely, I just um, found it in the grocery store and I was like, that's great. I got that and yum yum, which is the stuff that I get for the sushi. Yum yum sauce. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm like, I had just gotten all this and I was like, Ooh, I can't have it. But anyways. Hey, so- guess, what, guess what tomorrow <laughs> is? Our 25 year anniversary. Woo-hoo. Wow! Oh, congratulations! Yeah, thanks. That is a big one. Is that a silver? Yep. That should be wow. like gold and million dollars and everything. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I haven't killed you in twenty five years. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. We're gonna... Shit, I'm trying to get to my job for twenty five years. So I could get a bonus. <laughs> I want yeah. more vacation days I can't take. <laughs> well, congratulations, Addy. Oh, thank yes, you. Yes, congrats. We're going to go do some, but then my sister's going away, and somebody's got to be around for mom. And um, How's she going to do That's okay. What? Wow, that's not fair to do. Yeah, I know. Whatever. It's a good time to get away. Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Breno. Yeah, it's, that's all right. We'll We'll get to do something. Well, Thanks, plan Jennifer. it now for when they get back, you leave. It's not right. like you have to be a Monday through Friday or only weekends. You guys are have free time. You can yes, leave we do. Time. So like she pulls in, you guys pull out. The right. Are <laughs> packed and you leave. You can always decide where you're going to go after you leave. <laughs> That's right. We, we kind of like it like that, too, just to spur the moment. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you've nice. been together 25 years. I'm pretty sure you do that quite often. <laughs> Thanks, Coconut. Thanks, Tim. Al. Happy wife, happy life. Thanks, Bob. Oh, really, Bob? Wow. Yeah, I mean, that freaking Polynesian sauce is banging. I mean, oh, my God, it's so good. I I've never eaten at Chick-fil-A. It. Huh? I've never eaten at Chick-fil-A. <gasps> You've never eaten at Chick-fil-A? No. All you need to do is get the nuggets and the Polynesian sauce and the waffle fries. That's it. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Those that that'll get you hooked. But after you try their Polynesian sauce, and of course you have their waffle fries because you just have to do it. Um, after you do all that, then go and buy the Polynesian sauce, and you can put it on anything. Oh, good. Al's got thirty six years in so far, and no deaths. Awesome. (laughs) Awesome. (laughs) Nice. If you haven't killed each other, you're made for each other. That's what I feel. Yes, MC. Yeah, I'm glad you're feeling better, Scuba. Congrats, congrats, happy anniversary. Yeah, we're glad that you're feeling good. What the hey, Scuba? What are you saying? What the hell for to me? Because he can. Because <laughs> he just did. Because he was blowing you kisses and you wouldn't answer him. Aww, oh, Scuba. He's hey, not Scuba. Feeling well. Hope you're feeling better. Yeah, now she does. I didn't see. I was on top chat. I'm sorry. I told you at the beginning to not be on top chat. Holy crap. Everything happened so fast at the beginning. Damn it, Jeff. I'm so sorry, Terrible. Yeah. That's terrible, Jeff. Jeff had to call Amos for his mom last night. She Uh, fell and split her forearm open 20 stitches. Ay, ay, ay. So I bought a couple Very. flavors. That's that's literally all that's in my bag. I just teased you guys. This was literally all. You got the vanilla cookie? Yes. I got the vanilla cookie by Flavor Smell Arts. it. Smell, I got it, the, smell, it, smell it. Okay. The creamy liqueur special, the custard Click extra, Click and bake. the cheesecake Olympus. Click bake. It looked like it was this big box. All we get is click I know. bake. <laughs> 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 but I got four. <laughs> Hey, Fidalgo. This is though. Does that count for a big package? <laughs> what did you get again? What are they? The Cheesecake Olympus. Is the big I don't know one. that one. Who makes that one? The Flavor Art. It's one of their new ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's one of their new ones. Smells like cheesecake. Hi, rainbows. It smells good to me. I like that. Hi, yo, yo. Thanks, Robin. Bob Ohms to Low made a banging pink grapefruit raspberry soda. Oh, that pink grapefruit raspberry soda. Nice, Bob. Sounds interesting. Oh, no, we're still trying to mix this. Hold on, in our brain. 
I mean, pink grapefruit with raspberry and it's a soda. That sounds good. So you put carbon in it, carbonation. You have to. Well, now I'm gonna. Um, oh well, my god, that smells so good. Doesn't it? But it doesn't smell like any other cookie. Mm -hmm. I know, but it smells. You like know what it smells like? What? It smells like those um those shortbread cookies that are flowers. I thought that they smelled With like the Nilla wafers. In the middle, that's what it smells like to me. Doesn't it smell like what about Nilla wafers? Oh, I just made banana pudding twice this week and ate it. It's it's like a cross between the vanilla wafer and that that short that's you know the flower one with that you put your in your finger in it and then you eat around it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody's done that, right? Not just me. <laughs> but it's got it a smell? hole you stick your finger in a hole all the time <laughs> doesn't it smell delicious though oh my god that smells like um you have it yes oh, oh man addy doesn't have it does he no no i don't have uh, any of the new flavor art stuff oh my gosh february i'll get my oh my first... god what is that oh <laughs> in february i'll get my first social security check all right yeah Wow. This is the liqueur. Oh, that's huge. Why is that so long? The creamy liqueur special is this one. And it kind of knocked me off my feet for a minute because it actually smells like a little bit of coffee. Hmm. Ricky Collins. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much. Uh, Fitty, welcome, sweetie. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Freedom issue. How are you? You got the Freedom. cookie? Do you know what? I smell it, Freedom, and let me know if you smell what I smell. I smell those little, it's, they look like little flowers that you stick your finger in and you eat it. Kadoko says he smells uh, like the little um, angel cake. Mm. No? I'm telling you, it smells like those freaking right. shepherd cookies. You got to go and get one, put one on your finger, and then smell it. <laughs> all right there it is there's bob's it smells recipe good too. that custard extra yeah that's really really good, good too. oh yeah it's 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 like my favorite now it's so buttery it's yummy oh you do have that one huh yeah yeah so i lied i <laughs> i don't have any new flavor well except for that <laughs> i'm like wait a minute you like the what <laughs> Why, well, Rin, Rin Vapes reviewed it, mixed, mixed just Rin, and said it was super buttery. So, oh, I'm so you struggling. had to get it. Well, I've been struggling with this butter tart, and that was the secret ingredient. Well, the other secret ingredient ah. is a vanilla cookie. <laughs> it's That's on my list. Good. It's uh, I have <laughs> vanilla cookie on my list. <laughs> yeah, but you already got the custard extra. You didn't I do. Off. I want to get another one. Oh, because that was, that's so good. Well, you, the four ounce I have isn't enough. <laughs> the four wow. ounces? Oh, my gosh. Hi, James. Welcome, sweetie. James. So I got Bob's recipe. I put the link in chat. I was just when looking at it the now. IPV V200, yeah. Pretty Great. basic, but nice. Who makes the IPV? Uh, Pioneer for you. Oh, then I probably won't get it. I don't get any of their stuff to review. Sorry. Becca says, I'm what using your request 510 adapter and the TFV 12 Prince tank. And my quote says 15 ohms, but the mod reads 13 ohms. Is that a, yeah, it, you're only like 0.2 away or 0.02 away. You're fine. That looks good, Bob. I don't have a couple of them flavors, but looks good. <laughs> John so, says, Scuba, you got me hooked on Nilla nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know real flavors made of soda base. Do you have that one, DeMillan? I do. I do. I have it because it sounds familiar. What's it like? Is it fizzy? Uh, you, you don't have any real flavors. Yeah, it's it's really good. I have real flavors. I have real flavors right there. Oh, maybe I don't. No, I do. Yeah, yeah Tim, I have the. No, um, I don't think you have any real flavors? Let me see. I have the other pineapple. It's really good from Mal and Berry. RF is the thing. Funky pineapple. I have. It's really good. It's, it's like sugar loaf, I hear. Oh. Are you sure I don't have any real flavors? No, because they came off the market before you came into buying stuff. Hi, Maddie. Oh, no. I don't hey. I, do have, I do have that soda base. Oh, no. I have lemon lime soda. 
Maddie's in here from Guatemala. Oh, it's got fizz. Bob says it's no flavor, just fizz. Cool. Hi, Becca. Okay, fine, Freedom. But if you have the other cookie on your finger, it would smell like it. <laughs> I well, mean, Wendy, why are you sticking your finger in a cookie? Because it's got a hole in it. Okay, I understand. <laughs> well, the first thing I made when I got the vanilla cookie was a um, banana parfait. Like uh, banana with uh, vanilla wafers, which was a vanilla cookie. So you you literally made like a vanilla pudding with vanilla wafers in it? Yes. Okay. I actually made that for real twice this week. <laughs> Ooh. Once I meant to share with everybody, but it was four times during the day. So it didn't count because I did it like breakfast, lunch, dinner. Made you spread time. it out. Right. So I made four servings out of it. And then the second time it's still in there. Uh, for us, so Jen S. Mod, I broke my bubble glass and I have tried mobile. Um, all you need to do is just take take off the base. Um, on the top of it, I'm trying to find me an empty. Um, everything's got something in it. <laughs> on the top of it, where these two holes are, hold the base. And then you can take like some tweezers or pliers, something hard. Yep, there we go. And you put them in the holes and you turn it if it's too tight. Not hard though, but make sure that you're in the holes. Don't touch nothing else with the with the pliers. Then you put them away. Well, everything's about putting it in the hole tonight, Wendy. I know. I'm just sticking everything in the hole. <laughs> Hi, me. Hi, Bristol. Oh my goodness, I can never get that one. Oh man. I'm gonna call you Maddie. Okay. How you doing, oh, wow. Bob had the same idea as me. He did a banana caramel pudding with vanilla wafers as his first vanilla cookie one. It was just begging for a banana pudding. Yeah. MC Extra, you actually just have to watch some videos. Um, if you're using the recipe, the ELR recipe builder, it tells you how much nicotine to put in depending on what your milligram is that you're vaping. So you can't really go over in that way if you're mixing by looking at the recipe and doing it correctly. Wendy Ledette, where you been, my love? Wendy. Hey, Wendy. Wendy L. Sorry, Wendy. I'm supposed to say Wendy L. I'm, I'm saying Wendy Ledette because I <laughs> like Wendy. Actually, I don't even have to because since I'm Wendy, I'm not going to mistake anybody. I'll just call her Wendy. Hi, Rista. How are you? Welcome, welcome, sweetie. So Emmer trainer wants to know what's our backstory is how I got into vaping what encouraged us to, to start vaping. Go ahead, Addy. You first and then to uh, Well, I wanted to live. I'm wait. <laughs> <laughs> I want to survive like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, you know, it, it was starting to affect me and I was, I was actually thinking about it, but, and I tried a few times and nothing ever worked. And um, so my mom was getting a hip replacement in 2013. So I took her to her doctor and the nurse, you know, said to my mom, you got to quit smoking before your um, surgery. And my mom was like freaked out. So the nurse looked at me and said, take your mom to the vape shop down the street. A new one just opened up. So long story short, within two weeks, my mom, myself and my wife all stopped smoking and started vaping. Awesome. Yeah. The only awesome thing story. Look at that. And back then the doctors didn't tell you not to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Demelon. Well, mine's similar because uh, I had to have a trigger finger surgery and what? trigger finger surgery. What's that? It's like my finger would get stuck like that. That's what I, you call it, sugar finger? Trigger. Oh, I thought you said sugar finger. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know what it, I didn't know what a trigger finger was either. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like, um, you know, the reason why I'm asking is because mine gets stuck too. So I was just wondering. Yeah, well, what they do is they cut the sheath and do all kinds of weird stuff and make it so that it moves again. And so, but my doctor said that he wouldn't uh, operate if I smelled like cigarettes and that I got to quit smoking. And so I quick went out and uh, tried hypnosis and that didn't work. And right when I was like about to light up a cigarette, I ran down to the smoke shop and picked up a... Um, a cigar like and then I just went from there, you know, then I had to go online and 
get, you know, the twist, the ego twist and other stuff to keep me going on it. And it, and it worked and I was able to get my surgery and, uh, I've quit ever since. Kind of figure because your finger works. Awesome. <laughs> I was June 12th at 2 30 PM. <laughs> wow. She knows the time on 2012. That is awesome. I was like October 13th or something like that. Yeah. Mine what about you? May. What about you, Wendy? Mine was in May. That's all I know. But I wasn't meaning to quit, though. I quit by accident. An accidental quitter. Yep. I'm an accidental quitter. Yes, my name is Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem. I did it by accident again. Um, I actually wasn't even looking. I had looked. I had kind of looked online one time i forget how i found out oh somebody at work had one of those pen style ones and i was thinking about it and i'm like oh i don't want one of those so i was looking at some but i didn't know what to get and then i totally forgot about it it wasn't like i was serious about it i think it was more like you know i was on the bathroom you know on the toilet you know and i needed something to look at so i was going through some vape stuff online. <laughs> i'm a little personal it's because you guys are family but anyways <laughs> so then I was going to get my nails done and I was going to a different, I was actually going to a different nail place. So I'd never been down that actual street looking for anything, but I was sitting at a light and I was talking to um, my son and I turned around, and I'm looking this way and there was actually an e-cigarette um, store there. I was in the far left lane and it was like all the way over there. And the turn was right there because I was at the light. So I jumped in front of everybody. I ran in there and I said, don't give me any pen style, anything. I need something that's going to help me quit. I have six cigarettes left. I don't want to touch them. I'm going to keep them in my car, which I did. And I said, I need the kit, whatever it is that she showed me a kit. And I'm like, okay, that'll work. I got batteries, coils, um, battery charger. I got the works. I spent over $150. I got everything for it. Wow. Um, because I, and juice and everything. I, I said, if I'm going to do this, I want something that's going to be successful. Don't give me one of them little pen things. And right from the very first time that I started vaping, I never went back. And that was an accident and it worked. I remember the cutting across in front of the two lanes of traffic. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that, that was part. me. What year Let was me... it? Huh? What year was it? Oh, I can't remember. That's the one thing I can't remember. Was it 14? I remember it was in May, and I didn't write it down either. I remember it was in May. I can remember the store and everything, but I don't remember what year. What I want to say it was after I bought the house, but I don't remember. Gee, sorry but, to hear that, Maria. Maria. My May 23rd, watch my mom that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, that would work. That yeah, would they'll work. do it. Hi, Roy. How you doing, sweetie? Roy. Um, Hi, Spicy. But that um, it was my Max wanted me to quit for the longest time. Max used to be like, Oh, you know, in school, you know, when they started the whole dare thing, he's like, Oh, you can't smoke, it's a drug, you know, this and that. And then it was like, Oh, mom, you're smoking again. Oh, mom, you're smoking again. And like, Yeah, I'm smoking again. Hey, I'm letting you breathe, right? I'll let you out of the car, I'll be Re back to pick you up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Reefer madness in the dare program. Oh, my goodness. And then I just kept, I just kept going. Um, the one day now remember i only have one kit now, now i've never leave the house with just one ever like i learned my lesson that first yeah, have a backup um i didn't know to have a backup at that point so what had happened was i was at work and all of a sudden um the mod went out and i'm like what the hell's going on and i was at work and remember i still have six cigarettes left in my car oh, it's my no. first week I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I was literally having like anxiety. So I literally raced to, I didn't go and pick up any kids. I didn't go and do none of that. I just ran to the vape shop and I said, something's wrong with it. Thank goodness it was within the warranty period. And they went and they exchanged it out for me. And that is actually the first time that I got a taste of an RDA. Because I was also getting more, because I'm like, hey, you know what? I went through already, I, and it was only a few days, and I already went through a 30 mil of e-liquid, and I was already halfway through the next. Wow. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I don't vape hard for nothing. I vape hard because I'm hard, right? So anyways. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I was, I was there and I was trying to get more e-liquid. And when I first went there, they had, you know, those little sample things there. And then this guy, he had an RDA and I'm like, what is that? And he goes, oh, it's an RDA. And I'm like, okay, you're telling me what? And then he was like, yeah, and you can taste better and this and that. And I'm like, no, you can't. He's like, yeah, you want to try it? I was like, sure. Like, I try anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and I tried it and I was like, oh my God. And it had just, it just so happened that his friend had just whipped it. The guy that, another guy that works there. So he brought it over. So I saw it. And that's why I was asking, like, curious. I was like, what is that? So when I saw that, I was like, okay, I'm going to learn to whip. And within a week, I was already wicking. I already had that um, that drip box that comes with the coils and stuff. So I started learning. I just started teaching myself how to wick. And then later on, I taught myself how to make coils. And later on, I was just, it was all over. Once I started, I just, I grew very quick because I literally, every moment of the day that was not spent feeding my kids, bathing, sleeping, um, even at work, I would listen to reviews uh, and I would look up coil making reviews, like anything to do with making coils. I was listening to anything with battery safety. I was listening to anything with Ohm's law. I was listening to, I literally spent a full three months while I was doing all this learning, listening to nothing but YouTube just for that. And I just kept trying it and trying it and trying it until I got it working and I got it going and that's it. I was, I was a goner then. I was like hooked for life. Yeah. I learned most of my stuff scouring the pages of ECF because it was big back in the day, you know, and uh, you could learn anything on that ECF and they devoured everything down to the nitpicked everything to death, you know? Yeah. So it was a great resource. It still is a great resource. I didn't up, know about up. anything else but YouTube. I literally didn't know anything else. Just YouTube. Oh, I just did e-cigarette and then ECF came up and then I was just stuck on ECF for the longest time. That's probably how it was with YouTube. And that's how I found my very, very first vape reviewer I ever watched was Tia Vapes because she had the same setup I had. Oh. And yep, she was the very first one. And then because they're uh, just like now, there weren't very many female reviewers out there. It was mostly just men. And so I watched her a lot. And then her e-liquid reviews, I, I got so jealous. I was like, I want that one. Okay, I want that one. Okay, I want that one. The only one I didn't want was, um, I think it's Pounded or something like that, that she kept saying was her favorite. I didn't want to try that one. But I tried all the other ones because she used to do the cheaper brand. Um, uh, she had she had pretty fingernails too. Tia, Tia did. Did she? Yeah, she had some fancy nails for a while there. And Pounder, uh, Pounder was a Grim Green juice. No, it was Pound It or something like that. It was Don't Pound Something. It. Pound something. It was Pound Something that she got from this one e liquid company. And that was like her go to. Um, and then she did cookies and stuff like that. And I started trying those because I started off on fruits and right away I went to desserts. Um, they she were was, good, but they weren't it for me until I got to desserts. She was friends with Indoor Smoker, right? Isn't yes. it? Mm -hmm. He kind of kicked her channel off, I think, for her. Yeah, he helped her get started. She actually asked him how to get started, and he helped her. And I would watch him because he was crazy and stuff, but I wouldn't watch him, like, to take anything he was saying seriously. I would watch her for the serious stuff and watch him just if I was feeling like I needed something to make, you know, be goofy. I would watch him because to me, that's, you know, that's the way that he was for me. He, yeah. You know, I like I mean, how he used to stab open the vape mail. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was like, it wasn't a serious freaking review, but okay. And then I would love his clouds. Oh my goodness. His clouds made me love my clouds even more. Who was this? Re um, indoor. Smoke. Indoor. Remember he would sit there and for like yeah. an hour. <laughs> yeah. Who was this, that, that girl co-host he had? I can't remember what her name was. Oh, I don't know. Was it um something with a C, wasn't it? Like Karen or... I didn't start watching him until way later because I thought it was all about the, the gonge. Yeah, no, I, 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 I knew he was on the gonge when I was watching him. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I watched... Um, I did watch Rip Trippers. I watched him. I thought he was very, very informative. And I watched a lot of his building where he did the builds, he did the um, 
the I even did um made my own um stovetop coil because of what I watched too. Yeah, he was making a lot of those. The eagle coils with the strings, and I was like, wow, yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, yeah. I watched a lot of that stuff. That's how I started building was rip. And then I found the um the video from Grim Green for the Fuse Clapton. And I was I was fine with making a fuse clapton. The only thing is, is that because of my nails, it's harder to hold the spool than guys. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't imagine that would be tough. Yeah, because with the, you're feeling it right with the tips of your fingers. Yeah. Well, there was, I was trying and trying and trying. I was like, you know what? I did do a few. I was doing it. But then I was like, you know what? Somebody, I, somebody show me the day of Dallas. I got oh, that. Yeah. I was like making freaking bowls of freaking coils. <laughs> I was like, we going for this right now. And I'm not even watching it. Look at me. No hands. It was so fun. I was just because I'm making the same exact coils with that. But I have still to this day, I have the drill, I have the level, I have the washers, I have the clamps, I've got um even the heat, um, the heat gun. So that you can, yeah, I've got that. I've got everything. But I really what I wanted was a freaking um, spaghetti flattener thing. Oh, yeah, I yeah. My coil, but I never, I never invested in it. <laughs> I stopped there. But I got everything else. I had everything else. And I was oh, like, those were good think? times. Those were good times. Yeah. Squid dude doing those, the first uh, build videos. It's great. It was just, it was just, I, learning was just so freaking amazing and I just, I don't know. I just, I really, really just loved everything about vaping. And that's why I started my channel because I wanted to show other smokers how great it was, what I thought of it. It helped me and it gave me something to do. It helped me and it gave me that hobby of making coils. It yep. helped me and, you know, then you can, you know, build on an RDA, even if you got pre-made coils for the cheap place or whatever. You know, because I had the cheap, cheap coils, which burnt out like in a couple days, you know, was, and I'm not talking stock coils. I'm talking about like real coils that you put in the RDAs and stuff. Uh -huh. But they were just, you can tell that they were just kicking them out because they wouldn't last that long. You couldn't really clean them up. It was like almost like they would like tarnish dirty, you know, like you couldn't bring them back to life. So that I was just made a, made a bunch of coils a couple days ago, some twisted frame staples. Yeah. See? But I bet you don't have right. anything else. Anyway, so <laughs> hi Toasty Cheesy. So Easy. it was just, it was just, it was so fun. Hi, Captain Spicy. It was just so fun. Like I'm telling you, from the moment I saw that RDA, when I got that, my when I first got my 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 kit though, what I wanted was that rouleau, the teal and white. I saw it in the case, and the girl was using it. And she had the charms on it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it. And I did end up getting it. I did end up getting it, actually. Everything I did, I kept getting. I just, I went from the, for the Dropbox or, yeah, the Kangaroo Tech Dropbox. I went to the Drip, uh, the Dripbox 160, which that one I love, love, love. You're right back. I absolutely Hello. love the drip box. Yep. I had the teal and the white, which was like my favorite color. I had charms to match it and everything. Um, but the I love that from, mod. When I got the drip box is when I really, really got into building because I would make the round wires all the time and it would just work perfectly. And I got the most clouds. And people would ask me, like, hey, what are you vaping on? I'm like, this. And they would be like, really? Not that thing. I'm like, oh yeah, that thing. But it was just, I don't know. It's, um, it just, it, it, I don't know how I got started in the sense of like what made me want to keep going, but I did want to share it. I remember that I was so in love with having all this newness and all this new knowledge that I wanted to share it. How come we don't use charms anymore? I have them. Um, the thing, you know, why I stopped using them was because I, I had a lot of lipo mods with the lipo battery mods. When you would put the charm on and it would touch it here, it wouldn't rattle anymore because the battery was so, you know, it's a lipo battery. It's not like an 18650. It would stick to the mod and I wouldn't jiggle. The magnet? Yeah, the magnet of the, of the, no, it was the magnet of, of the, of the lipo mod because they were very, very strong. Not the battery, the magnet. 
Oh my God. Super. Because you remember I used to clip the, the doors together, how hard they were. Oh yeah. They, those are. Those magnets were freaking fierce. And I couldn't get the, the, the magnets wouldn't DM. do anything. But I still have all my charms. I got butterflies. I have a ghost. I have um, some pearls. I have um, a key. Did, did I've, I've got a whole bunch of them. Did you ever have tanklets? What? Tanklets. They're like these little uh, glass shapes. Like they could be a fish or a something, no. something. And you put it inside the tank? No, I never tried that. I thought that was kind of cute. I, I, did I didn't want to put nothing in my tank. I was scared I was going to vape it up. But they were glass, like little glass yeah. things that floated around in there. I did get little weird glass uh, drip tips. I went through, because remember, back then, everything was 510 drip tips. Yeah. So I had a million, a million 510 drip tips. I have no idea where they are now right now. Did you have those donut ones, the trippy tips? Yes. I got anything that didn't look right. I got it. <laughs> oh, neat. I had, I, go, I had to go digging. <laughs> wow, look at that. That, yep, that's old. And the thing is, is that it looks current, you know? Yeah. It looks current now. That is I that awesome. same, same one, just out of arm's reach. <laughs> yeah, I was like that teal color. I was like, oh, that teal. You know, back back in the day where the uh, five tens, you know, were so shallow, you had a big gap on everything. Oh yeah, I used to buy the spacer. Remember, they had the spacer. Yeah, that you yeah. Buy separately, I had a spacer. Oh yeah, because of course it wasn't too high enough, or it wasn't right. too low enough, or you had the space in it. Yeah, I had all of them. Oh, well, this one actually fits one of my cape ones. I'm surprised. Of course it should, because everything was 22 millimeters back then. <laughs> no, I mean the 510-wise, five, five because oh, okay, it's got, got a it. pretty proud 510 on it. Ah. You just want to stick it in. Uh, you know it. <laughs> you know where there's a hole. How you doing, James? Too hard. <laughs> yeah, the heat sinks for the 22 millimeter. Yep, I have the heat sinks. The I, heat have, sinks. I have so much things that... I went through and then my first RTA when I had like a real, real, real was my Merlin RTA single coil. It was amazing. I went and bought like three and I gave them away because I freaking loved them and I wanted other people to love them. I loved that RTA. It was my very, very first one. Never leaked on me. It was great. And I went from that one to another one. They had an upgrade of the Merlin. It was something else. And then from there, I got the Griffin. Griffin, yeah. Oh, how yeah. I love the Griffin. We talked about wicking that bad boy. That took me months to get it that right, was... but I never gave up. I was I was determined to be, I knew that if I could get that wicking right, I could wick anything. Yeah. Hi, Miss New York Cheesecake. Hi, Cloud hey. Checker. Hey, Cloud Checker. I knew it. Cheesecake. It was so Good. hard, but hi, Brandy. Um, it was so hard, but I was so proud when I did it. It was um, extra. It MC extra. The difference is an RTA. Actually, you have a coil inside a pre-made coil, There's and when an you have an RDA, it's something like this. So it's actually directly in an RDA. There's your coil and your cotton right there. And then with an RTA, it's a rebuildable tank atomizer. It has a glass on it. RDA is a rebuildable dripping atomizer. So you would drip into an RDA, but you would fill a tank. Oh, yeah. The Merlin Mini. I remember that, James. But oh the Army yeah, it was the Merlin Mini. Oh, my God. I love it. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> I named it. Was just, it, was so, it was so good. It really was. So Emmer, Emmer's having a problem with her tank flooding all the time. Even yeah, when she changed. A pod. No, she's got a oh, pod. Oh, it's a pod. Okay. Oh, no, she's got the RPM4. It's sort of like this, but a little bit different. Um, yeah, what it could be is it could be the wattage is too low for the coil. I don't know what coil that you're looking at, but you want to um, look at the wattage range for the coil. You can use it lower, but sometimes if it doesn't have enough heat, it's not burning that e-liquid. It's just sitting there. 
Also, if you let it just sit for a long period of time, it can actually cause that as well because the fact that it's like gravity, it's pulling the e-liquid down and it's just sitting there. I always recommend before you start vaping, just fire it. Just fire your, your device, just get it to fire and then vape it. And a lot of times that'll help. Or you could take the pod off and if you cover the bottom where the air comes out the bottom and you blow into the mouthpiece, you can get any residual e-liquid out and that'll stop it too. You can shake it out too, like, you know, do a shake it out. Yeah, you could, except for if you didn't place in your coil very well, then your coil goes flying and all the e-liquid that you Oh, that's true. It's a pod. Yeah, the thing will go flying off the end. <laughs> well, the one thing- Don't, don't gonna... shake it off, okay? Don't, don't shake it off. <laughs> Just you can pull the I've pod noticed. off and shake the pod by itself. <laughs> yeah. The one thing I've noticed with my pods is they work great for a while and then they start leaking all over the place. And then it finally dawns on me. It's because it needs to be changed. Yep. So you just change the damn coil and then it doesn't leak anymore. Exactly. As simple as that. It's crazy, right? It is. Hi, Janine. Janine. Because I think when they get old, they lose the ability to suck juice anymore, you know? Exactly. Yep. And it's just because all, it's all, it's it's got yeah. all that, that gunk, you know, blocking the cotton. It's not going to be able to saturate it. Yeah. So, Emma, yeah, you can get, you can get kits. Uh, uh, Wendy was just showing them an RTA. You can get mouth along RTAs where you can make your own coils. And uh, you, so you don't have to buy them anymore. All you have to do is buy some wire and some cotton. Yep. I've actually got a lot of MTL um, reviews on my channel. Just go to the RDA, RTA, RDTA playlist. And I've got a whole bunch of reviews there for rebuildables. Hi, Michael Bassett. What's the best RDA for beginners? Looking for high quality, not on a budget. I'm so tired of wasting coils. Well, why would you need high an RDA? To be honest with you, it could be the cheapest and still work amazing. You don't need a high end RDA, um, because they all work the same. You as it's all about your wicking and your coil placement, no matter which one you got. Um, I've had, you know, ones that weren't legit that worked absolutely amazingly. So yeah, you don't, you don't need an expensive one. Um, an RDA, an easy RDA would be like the nitrous RDA is easy. The what other single coils do I have? The RD, the nudge isn't available anymore. Yeah. The, mongrel, the mongrel is really good. Is the that mongrel, the, the serpent RDA is good. This that is the mongrel. Amazing. Yeah. The serpent. Um, boom, boom, boom. She said growl and mongrel. Growl, mongrel. <laughs> growl. <laughs> Hi, Jeff, James Coffee. So you can use any RDA and what you want to do is just get one and start learning how to build on it and how to wick on it. And that's going to be key. That'll be your practice RDA. Oh, you're welcome, Emma. But it's always going to be practice. You have to remember that no matter if you're building on an RDA for the first time, an RTA for, for the first time, an RDTA for the first time, anytime that you're building something, it's going to be a little bit of learning. If you're one of those that gets frustrated fast, I wouldn't recommend it. Just slap a freaking coil in and go. Um, but for an RDA, you definitely want to be careful because first of all, you want to know your Ohm's law because you need to make sure that the coils that you're putting in are not going to burn out your batteries. They're not going to hurt your device. You have to make sure about what are you doing with the leg links um, when you're cutting off the leads, making sure that they're not in the bottom of your RDA because that can short it how long you can put them, how short you can put them. It's not just get it and go. You really, really need to just watch videos on every single RDA video of mine, every single rebuildable video of mine. I do it as a tutorial for a reason. I, I can easily be like a lot of other people and have a review done in 10 minutes, but I actually make mine a little bit longer because that way you can walk through it with me. You get your RDA, the recurve is also good. You get your RDA and I have the review for the RDA and you go and you build on it and just go at my pace. You can slow down videos on YouTube as well. You can go ahead and make them slower so that you can do it at the same pace. There's a procedure to do it. You don't just put in a coil, you put in cotton and you're ready to go. There are procedures to do it. Just watch them. That's how we all started. We didn't just slap in a coil and do it. You have to actually, you know, yeah, the wrath is good. Um, you have to actually watch and learn you yeah, have there's to, a process 
Yeah, you have to learn. Um, you, you can't just do it, you know? Um, you want to learn, you want to research it, watch some tutorials and just get it, you know, when you can. Um, and just like I said, when I, I, before you came, I think it was right before you came in, we were giving our backstories. And I said, before I can even build on anything, I spent three months of watching nothing but build videos. Hmm. I oh. taught myself how to wick before I taught myself how to build. Once I get the wicking done, then I learn how to take care of the coils. And that was my process. And it just, it works if you, if you make the process work, you definitely want to, um, you definitely want to take the time to invest your time to research into it. And you want to learn about battery safety. You want to learn about that. You got to make sure on your mod that what's the lowest um, resistance that it can take. If you drop your coil below that resistance, it's not going to work, you know? Uh, thank you, drop time. So, um, Joshua came in here. Hello, Joshua. Where are you? Where's your freaking thing? There it is. Trucker Reviews is in the house. How you doing? I just dropped a link I, in there about uh, steamengine.org. And that, yep, that's it's, it's how to make coils. And it, it gives you a whole rundown on Ohm's Law. Mm -hmm. and you what can the learn coils, that. It's definitely how there it is. I mean, it's a really good so resource. But first, watch some videos so that you know what, what they're talking about on Steam Engine. <laughs> because when they're talking about Canthal, if you haven't watched a review, you're not going to realize that it's a material of the coil. If you, you're not going to know about leg length, you're not going to know about wraps. What is a wrap? I mean, are you a wrapper? No? Okay. But, you know, <laughs> you have to, that's what I'm saying. You can give all that stuff, but you really need to watch those first. Oh yeah, you do have to watch a bunch of yeah, and, and then once you're ready, then you can make round wire coils. I have videos of making round wire coils. My very first videos was doing nothing but making round wire coils. Um, I mean, you can start out that way. You can get these little kits. Um, it's really, really good. What if they make an RDA that comes with a mesh coil base, and all you have to do is wrap cotton around it, and how to press fit the metal top or twist the no, you, you definitely don't want that, Michael, because if the mesh is not really, really snug with that cotton and the cotton runs away from it, it'll set it on fire. So yeah, there, there are mesh RDAs out there, but it's nothing to joke about, to be honest with you. But because um, people have caught it on fire and like, if you don't know it and you're about to hit it, that's fire in your mouth. So you need to be really, really careful. And again, watch videos, watch reviews, especially the ones that are more geared towards a tutorial look them up yeah wendy has some great videos build videos i mean yeah. i started out as a girl hello i was in a man's <laughs> world are you kidding me there was that's no how you got my over. attention i'm like look at this girl bill tia vapes refused to build she used to get her her single coil rda that she did her e-liquid reviews she had it built for her she never even did a build and then she tried to do a build a couple of years ago. She gave up real quick. And it's like, there weren't that many females. Zofi did a lot of coil builds. I learned a lot from her as well. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's really, it was hard coming out as a female in the vape industry. It was really, really hard, especially being a coil builder. And then I made coils too. So, wow. Swaggy in the house. Hi, Swaggy. Hi, free writer. Writer. I think I forgot somebody else. Hi, Tabitha. Who else? Who else? Can Tabitha. Be? Did I miss anybody else? If I miss saying hello to you, make sure that you say hello again so that I can get to you. <laughs> What's Cuba say now? <laughs> Captain Spicy yeah. over over on that um where you to get the coil knowledge. Um, steam engine. There's a, a recipe calculator over there too. Yep. I yeah, forgot it's about not that. Not as good as ELR though. No. Don't even go there. If you want an e-liquid recipe um, site, go to ELR. I actually have a video whenever you're ready, and I'll just walk you right through it, and it's absolutely amazing. I love, love, love it. Are we going to taste the flavors that we made last week? We got to oh, do God. that. What do we got? Fuck. The rice There ones. it is. Wait, where's my rice pudding? Rice <laughs> pudding! Rice then, pudding. I have to find my... I was vaping it earlier. I was cheating. Rice pudding I, 21. My my eggnog milk milkshake is all uh, it's like I've saved half. 
I really, I really wanted to vape it all, but I did save half. So <laughs> this is what I have left good. from both of them. <laughs> oh, I okay. thought I was doing bad. <laughs> so we have from last week, we have the rice pudding that we made. And we've got the eggnog milkshake that was using my milkshake base for my vanilla BK milkshake. And wow. I won't lie to you, that's probably the one I've been grabbing. <laughs> that's the one I've been grabbing. Mine's empty. Oh, I like my them. God. Why not milkshake great? I love it. I like it them both. Good. But I didn't get it. I didn't get very much eggnog out of it, though. We just need to up the eggnog. It, the eggnog came through really, really at the beginning more. Yeah. Uh, but once it settled, it settled down. But I, I was actually going to say that um, the only thing that we need to do really is just add a little bit more eggnog. Yeah. But other than that, the milkshake base, it really encapsulates the flavor. It really does. So I really like how that came out. It came out really, really good. So if you like eggnog and you like vanilla milkshakes, you're going to like the recipe. I am going to up the eggnog though i was gonna make a 120 but i was like you know what i'm gonna wait until I'm done what are you it. thinking like 1.75 instead of 1.5 on on both of them or you're thinking two see i've never tried the vso by itself we've always used the other one i would add um, some nutmeg too from vso oh i had that spice one remember the holiday spice i mean i still smell it but yeah we might want to go ahead and up both of them I like it a lot. I, I really like the rice pudding too with the what well, we put date in there and nutmeg. Yeah. And brown sugar. Too. Brown sugar, yes. right? That one we I think it was all VSO almost on the rice pudding, except for the rice pudding, the rice itself. Bristol says the eggnog milkshake is crack. <laughs> good. It really is good. <laughs> it was for me, man. Thank I, you so much for trying it. It's really turned out good. I can still taste it, but it's not as predominant. As it was the very first day, it was like, you got like all the like goodness of eggnog and nutmeg and everything. It just needs maybe just a nutmeg boost. I think we need that nutmeg boost from BSO. What do you think about how much to put in? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what's the, what's the mean, the median? Hold on. Let me look it up. Because I can add it right now. I mean, hey, I'm right here. I'm not scared. <laughs> I ain't feared. Nobody gonna fear me off. So if we go and put it in, let me edit it. Go here. Oh my God, the base is so, that vanilla milkshake is just like heaven. It really is. It's a good one. Um, Did I have, yeah, we have regular nutmeg, right? Yeah, from VSO. VSO, nutmeg. Okay, it's coming up at 0.25, which I was going to say 0.2. So what do you think? What do we use in, what do we use in the um, rice pudding? We, do we use the nutmeg in that one? Yeah, we use nutmeg, hold on, hold on. brown sugar, and date. That one we use, I think it was a 0.2. Hold on, let me find out for sure. The rice pudding we used... Um, 0.75. We went high on that one because we were trying to put it on rice. In this case, we're trying to boost the eggnog. So I don't want to overpower it because it's not like a flavor we're trying to cover. Let's try okay. the um, rice pudding and see how nutmeg -y is. Maybe we can make a decision based on that. Because I'm not getting any nutmeg. This on is why you're here, because you're the smart one. <laughs> no, not most of the time. You're the smart one, dude. That's all I'm going to say. You're my dude. I go to 1.25 on it because I'm not tasting any nutmeg. Hold on. God, I love the smell of the rice pudding mm. though. So good. Oh. All right, hold on. Let me let me vape it. Because this one I didn't try. I won't lie to you. Because I've been vaping the milkshake. And then I would like put it back in the room so I wouldn't touch it because I had it at my work desk and I was like, it's going to be gone soon, you know? And I didn't want to vape it all because, well, you know, I want to have some for today. Okay, so I'm going to try this one. Let's put it, baby. Wow. 
That's not as good as it was last week. It's still I like it a lot. lot. It's not in your face, but it's it's really nice combo of flavors. The rice flavor is not as it got really as starchy. Well. It got really starchy in the middle of the week, and then it mellowed out, and then it turned into something pretty good. But would I say rice pudding? No. It doesn't taste like the rice pudding like it did the very first day. Like you can no. taste that. But remember that we used the wrong rice put the wrong rice when we made it compared to the one that we're used to. Because the other one was the F E rice, sweet rice that yes. we should have made it with. No, that's the same thing. F E and S C. It just depends on which website you buy it from. They're both the same. I thought we used the wrong one. No, we use the right one. Are you sure? I'm positive. I think we use four, but then we use five or six on previous recipes. Hold on, I'll look it up right now and let you know. I think we so, use four. Hold on. So on this one, we use four, but on my rice. Scuba okay. says your, your milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. Damn straight. <laughs> The funky rice we used for, and that had the coconut, the pineapple, and the vanilla pudding. Mm. Remember, that was yours, that was, Dylan. That was a good one. We had jack your rice that was made with the jackfruit, and that was also at four. But that had like, you know, those like pineapple and coconut. Those are, you know, really strong flavors to go yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. Um, the coconut custard, I think, was one of my favorites. That one had the rice, the eggnog, the coconut custard, and the vanilla pudding. And that was at four. That was really good. That was really nice. That was really, really nice. That was really <laughs> fucking nice. Oh, uh, let me see. What else did we have? We made a rice spice. Um, rice that spice was is nice. Eggnog. That was just, that, yeah, that was just sweet rice and eggnog only. And that one, let me see. Do, do, do. Yep. And it was a flavor banger. That's what Tooney said in the comments. So he liked that one. And it was just two flavors. And then we made what was coconut the percentage? funky rice. So we went with the funky rice from the first one. We made <laughs> coconut funky rice. And that one we used for. So we used four. Um, for and everything rice. pretty much. Yeah. And then we made the strawberry baked rice pudding. And oh, that, that one was... I used rice pudding OOO. Oh, that's right. We used some BSO rice too, didn't we? I, I don't think, no, we didn't use that one. We used corn, the corn thing, but we never got the rice. Oh, I thought we put some BSO rice in something. No, but we wanted to. Remember we were going to make it, but then we got on the corn bread, the cornmeal or cornbread. Or yeah, something. yeah. And oh, then we yeah. went that way instead. Oh, no, 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 no. We Well, this one we never published. This was PB rice pudding. This one, we didn't finish it. Or did I start it myself? I adapted it from. Ah, no, this one was actually one that I was trying to adapt from somebody else's that used the rice from VSO. Got and it. I was going to adapt the change because I didn't have the flavors that they had. So I was adapting it, but I never finished it. But that one, um, what I had was blueberry V2, V2 VSO. Cream by Flavora, plum by VSO, rice by VSO, sweet by VSO, vanilla custard two, and white chocolate milky cream by Wonder, Wonder Flavors. I remember that. But I don't think we've followed through on that because I never published it. So that means it wasn't like a... I think I liked it, but you guys didn't like it. Probably, yeah. But I know that we made it because it was on August 30th. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> so yeah, funny. so we made some rice, some good rice flavors. Heck yeah. Um, I just don't know why this one I think about like those. Like I, I think this the uh, spices walked all over the rice. Yeah, I think it was the nutmeg because we never used the nutmeg before. Yeah, it had to be right, because we used the brown sugar before. Yeah, we use the brown sugar, um, but that I don't know, man. It's so I guess I'm, it's got to be, or it could be the date that brought it down. That might be the funky taste that I'm tasting is the date. I love the, I love VSO date. 
I know, but you like it. I, I haven't really used it before, so I'm not used to that flavor. So maybe that's why I'm like, mm. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad flavor, but just for me, I wanted like more of just like a sweet rice with nutmeg on it. You know, like if you're making a homemade creamy, nice rice pudding. And right. With just sprinkle some. Yeah. I guess that's what I'm expecting. Nutmeg's a tough one, man. It always has been. It's not bad. It's just not, I think, where we were going, Dominion. Yeah, so it's up to you guys whether you want to add more um, some nutmeg or you want to just up the... Uh... You know that would be cool? Making a sweet rice milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You're making me want to make me pull all those flavors again. But you know it sounds good, right? <laughs> it sounds like so weird that it's got to taste good. I mean, that's sweet rice. And we it, have to bump up the sweet rice because the vanilla, you know, the milkshake as a base. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know, man. You wrote something down we were supposed to do this week. Yeah. You wrote, it, wrote it on your pad. A pumpkin something. Pumpkin milkshake. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, God. I'm thinking pumpkin cookie. No, pumpkin milkshake. With the same oh milkshake my. base? Yes. But we got the VSO pumpkin, which is the best pumpkin out there. By the way, if anybody is looking to get any VSO flavors, go to VSOflavors.com. Use the coupon code WendyVapes, all capital, all one word, and you get 17% off. Heck yeah. Anyways, <laughs> back to the regularly scheduled program. <laughs> We should definitely make a peanut butter one. A pumpkin one. That's what I meant. I'm with you now. I was confused there for a second. <laughs> Rice milkshake horch horchata would be if it had cinnamon in it, but I can't have cinnamon. So I have to stay away from anything that's got cinnamon in it. It gives her blisters in her mouth hole. Yeah. And we don't want that. I love horchata though. It's so good. Oh my God. My friend, I, just, I think we should. At my last you know, job, you my, should uh, make for Addy for yourself a pumpkin R4, RY4. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be tasty. With that, because the RY4 is the sweet one, right? The like custardy one. RY4 is caramel and vanilla with a mild tobacco. Yeah. So that's what, so I'm saying it's sweet. That's what I yeah. just said. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he gets to do that, then I get to do my pumpkin cookie. So maybe it's going to be a free-for-all tonight. Well, then we need pumpkin cookies, too. No, because you're going to be doing your pumpkin milkshake. Yeah, but I want a pumpkin cookie, too, so that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I just I'm, want I'm, pumpkin, damn it. I'm down for whatever you guys want to do. I don't care. All right, so since we made two recipes last week, we should make two recipes this week. I make the pumpkin cookie and the pumpkin milkshake. Okay, let's do it. I'll go ahead and go ahead and get the GF, JF uh, cookie, right? Jungle flavors? That's the one sure. you need? Sure. You no, know, the pumpkin cookie would be the uh, vanilla cookie from... Uh... Oh, the new vanilla cookie? Yeah, let's use... That. Oh, wait. You don't have any of the other flavors, though, do you? But... Oh, I don't, I don't care. I'll make something work. Yeah, let's use the vanilla cookie with that. I'm trying to see my other three flavors, my, my whole list of flavors. Here. <laughs> so with our vanilla um, eggnog milk, or with our eggnog milkshake, just up the eggnog to 1.75 is up from 1.5. You think that would probably work? I think it would. Okay. Hold on, just, a second. hold on. Just to finish our conversation. Oh, we don't do that. Ever. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so funny because people sit there and they talk about having conversations with me and having conversations with my oldest. With Esther, we are exactly the same. Like people walk walk away from our conversations going, we literally just spoke about 18 things in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> because it's literally because if we don't speak about what we're thinking about at the time, we literally forget it. So whenever it comes up, we have to get it out. And then we're either back to the same conversation, which is usually what we do. We go jump back. And then we'll jump into another one because it'll remind us of something that we have to say. And we literally go through like millions of conversations in just a few minutes. It's I fine. still want to see you and her like lick each other's food and give you grossed out by it. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, uh, I can, no, we can't do that. No. <laughs> um, somebody asked for a good watermelon recipe, and I have one, and I actually called it Watermelon Surprise. It was one of my first, like, I actually created it from scratch. No help, no nothing, just thinking about it. And it came out absolutely amazing. Um, hold on, I'll put it in chat real quick. I absolutely love it. It's really, really a great watermelon. And it's true, like true, true. It's called Watermelon Surprise, baby. There we go, yeah. Hey, Chevy. And if you don't want the culotta in it, which the culotta doesn't make it cold, it doesn't make it like a menthol or anything like that. It actually boosts and enhances the flavor. But that right there in chat is my recipe, James. Um, was it James? No, Ricky. For the watermelon is right there. And then somebody said something. So pumpkin bread, blueberry jam sandwich. No. Um, no. <laughs> I'm not a big mint fan, but he made some candy cane at Christmas was not too bad. Oh, if you like the the um, thin mints, like the Girl Scout cookie ones, I have a great recipe for that too. And if you like raspberry donuts, I have a really, really good one for that one. But anyway, so we're going over to the pumpkin. <laughs> Just saying, see, I can't read chat and do this. It's not going to work for me. So, so okay. Demillon, what's your favorite um, watermelon? I don't do watermelon. Okay. That's why Demillon wouldn't. I read the Capella's, um, what's their candied watermelon that I like so much that we used like on the last time we did watermelon, we used a whole bunch of cap um, sweet watermelon. Oh, good. yeah. Uh -huh. And Melonberry has a really good one, too. Big watermelon, I think it's called. Uh, I just, someone else, some watermelons out there. One-on-one, -on -one, but I mean, not one-on-one. -on -one, um, real flavors, but they're hard to get. You can only get them from Canada now. Their yeah. watermelon's excellent. The ones that I used in my watermelon surprise was... Flavora watermelon, the sweet watermelon from Cap. Those are the twos that I, the twos, the two that I that I actually used on that recipe. And yeah, then, when we mixed that, that was pretty good. What about VSO watermelon? Have you played with that? Yeah, it's good. We did that cucumber watermelon. I really like. Ooh, that sounds delightful. I still I still got that one running. That cucumber. is why is your cucumber in my watermelon? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, maybe we should try it again, but there was something off about it that it wasn't the same as the one that I was looking at. We made, we added some watermelon to like a V2 or something. We, we upped, uh, we made another batch and we upped the, we added more cap sweet watermelon to it. I have a note here that says replace the cactus with VSO pear at 0.25 and try it. That's we what we were going to make. We were going to make a pear apple. Something or other. No, we were going to make a caramel apple and pear. That's it. Yeah. Oh, because that's oh. a lot different than how I said it. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the caramel. Well, I got the two main ingredients. Come on, man. You see? You forgot the caramel. I know, but you forgot the caramel. We would have got there. Yeah, but little by little, we would have made it there. Because it, especially if we're having a conversation, somehow it would get to it. <laughs> but, yeah, we have to go do. back and take out that cactus and make it again. Because even DeMillon was tasting that cactus and said that it tasted weird. Yeah, cactus is weird. Yeah, so we were going to replace the cactus with the VSO pair at 0.25, but we never did. It, 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 it gets a little perfumey to me. The cactus, right? The cactus, yeah. yeah. We should have just put hibiscus and just you know, been done with it. But anyway, so <laughs> just change it up. So, oh. all right, we're going to go ahead and create the recipe for the cookie. Oh, the cookie? Yeah, we're going to make the cookie first because a happy DeMillon is a happy home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got DeMillon's Again, cookie, juicy, no, I'm just kidding, 15, three, uh, no, I want to keep that way, okay, so we know that we're going to be using this, um, what's it called? Vanilla, vanilla cookie. 
Vanilla cookie. We're going to be adding the pumpkin from VSO for sure. Yes. We're going to be adding. Um, what do you want to use for a spice? Well, the pumpkin from VSO should be a spice, shouldn't it? It's, there's not, only a hint of spice in it. I think he's got a hint of nutmeg in it, no? Yeah, it's mostly pumpkin filling, like you would get to make a pumpkin pie without any spices. I really yeah. like that pumpkin, though. I kind of like that. You just want a plain pumpkin? That's fine with me, too. We can do just the pumpkin and the cookie, and I can add some super sweet to it. I think that would be cool. Some people uh, use something to bind the cookie together. What, what do they use? Well, I'm thinking Bavarian cream, but that might be weird. Not a lot, though. I mean, it's just something that just give it okay. a little bit of moistness to it, you know? Some, uh, well, we could throw a little bit of sweet coconut in there. No, you know, that would change the taste too much. No, at a low percentage, you know, um, flavor of sweet coconut at, at a quarter of a percent. It would make it moist and you wouldn't really taste the coconut. Okay. You want to try that? So what I'm is just it saying if you want to moisten it up, that's what you do. Yeah, I knew there's something that you can put in the middle of it. To boast it up. What is it called? Coconut custard? No, sweet coconut flavora. Thank you. Well, what if we put sweet cream in it? That would work too. We wouldn't need the coconut. Which sweet cream? Uh, VTA. Do I have that one? You have it. You'll I'm, have it. You'll have it. You hear me? I'm just afraid <laughs> of the coconut. I don't want it to bleed through. No, but we used it before and it, and it didn't come through. Yeah, it's a good, it's a, I, I know Fresh has done that a million times. I miss Fresh. I miss you, buddy. Love you. Miss you, Fresh. Miss you, Freshy. Okay, so take out the sweet coconut and leave the sweet cream. Got it. Okay, what else? There's something. Want some chips in it? <laughs> so James uh, Bodnachuk had a question about black licorice. There was, um, if you go to Noted on DIY or Dye's channel, they did two weeks, maybe three weeks ago, they did a whole um, episode on licorice. So, yeah, if you want to get into that, there's some really good ones out there, some bad ones, too. Yeah, let's stay away from the bad ones. But Wonder. the Wonder Flavors, um, they have a licorice that just came out with their last batch. It's pretty good. I don't think I have Allspice Swaggy. Yeah, I didn't get the Allspice either. I don't think I have it. Let me check it. Let me check this shit, man. <laughs> Hold up. Nope. Well, allspice has cinnamon in it, doesn't it? So I wouldn't have that. I think I don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah, it's we went over find this. Those spices without cinnamon. Hi, Mowgli. Mowgli. Hey, Mowgli. Hi, Craig from That's Edinburgh. It. Yes, so. welcome, Craig. First time in the group. Everybody, say Craig. hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, no, thank you, Mowgli. That's Wonder Flavor sal Salmiac licorice. I only have chai tea spice and holiday spice. The holiday spice, we already verified that it doesn't have any cinnamon in it. That was last week when we were doing the whole online. Yep. <laughs> ah, the pumpkin has a bit of allspice in it. Right. Yeah. Touch of spice in there. Yeah. But does that mean that's going to have the cinnamon? I baked nope. it before, right? I don't, I don't think there's any cinnamon there. Well, Swaggy could let you know. But we used it before. It didn't bother you, right? I don't think Is there so. any cinnamon in the uh, pumpkin swaggy? We have a cinnamon allergy here. Oh, fuck. I hate being the cinnamon allergy one. Oh, the allspice will be coming out around Thanksgiving. Yeah, but he said that a pumpkin has it. It has a little bit in it. All right, well. All spices is Jamaican pepper. Hey, I like Jamaicans. <laughs> no, but Swaggy, is there any any uh, cinnamon in your pumpkin? 
That sounds like a pretty personal question there, DeMillan. No, Abdul, I don't. Sorry. Oh, we didn't check out the percentages. Here I am about to share it. Oh, he said no cinnamon. All right. Yes. Okay. So I can have a bunch. I knew that it was good. Okay. So we've got um, the default percentages are coming up. Pumpkin at 2.58. What do we use before? I throw three in. Oh, let me check my past pumpkin recipes. Pumpkin. We did pumpkin cheesecake. That was good. We did pumpkin cookies August 31st, 2020. That's oh, we funny. did. Yum. Skipping to fall on tonight's live stream, maybe with Addie Tooney, Tam, DeMillon, and Fresh Pies. Yep. But don't worry, we're going to ignore that one. <laughs> that one has a lot more stuff in it. But uh, what was I looking at? The pumpkin, we used at three. So we yeah, should have that. Good. good call, DeMillon. Three. Okay, sweet cream. It's coming up to one. That's You're definitely gonna good. definitely gonna taste cream filling in it if you use it at one. Uh so point five. Yeah, if you just want to moisten up a little bit, add a little bit of vanilla. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Joker. I'm gonna go grab the flavorings. Okay, and vanilla cookie is coming up at two. Leave it. I I'd go one and a half. But cookie is the base of the whole thing. I know, but it's pretty strong. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll trust you because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Advocate for Liberty, you got to try the pumpkin. It's the best pumpkin out in the market, I promise you. Yeah, it's bomb. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and share the recipe in chat so you guys have it and you can adjust it. So here it is in your chats. Boom, there you go. And let me start getting my stuff out. Which my pumpkin's right here. <laughs> let me just turn around this way. And I got my pumpkin. I got my vanilla cookie. And what was the other one? It was by VTA. It was a uh, cream. Sweet cream. cream. Sweet cream. Okay. VTA. Sweet. S. S. Is over here. Creamy, and a half, one and a half, and a half. Um, maybe I should have checked if I have that because I don't think I do. I, I'm pretty sure you bought it. Oh, uh, you know what? It's probably one of these freaking boxes, man. But I try to put VTA where it goes, unless. No, that's a little too base. All right. Bye, Janine. Have a nice dinner. Have a good dinner. Um, it might be in one of these boxes. Hold on. I'm going to just look it up first. This here. This out here. You can't be without pumpkin. Pumpkin is great all year long. Pumpkin is great. All right. So I'm already here. I just got to log in. Yay. <gasps> wow. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So how the kids? How's the kids doing, Wendy? Everybody's doing great. I'm awesome, great. awesome. Keep them away, as far away from me as possible. No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, what is this? This is pie. That's perillum. 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 No, we can do twenty. Oh, I got watermelon cotton candy from perillum. Huh. Watermelon cotton candy, that's interesting. That sounds freaking amazing. It does sound good. I also got the raspberry jam from VTA. That sounds amazing. Raspberry jam, yeah. I just have the raspberry natural. It's really, really good. The SSA. Yeah. I said Pumpkin VSO. Box. Pumpkin VSO has 360 recipes. Wow. Three percent. 
Perillum Cookie Perillum. Five. Okay, I've got five is VTA now real quick. A. We got raspberry cheesecake by uh by um VTA also. Was it VTA? Hold on. I don't think I I don't have that one. No, that's from Inawera. Oh, okay. I don't have that one either. <laughs> Sweet green. I think I have two plum purples because I found one in here. Raspberry WG, what's that? WG, I have no idea. That's what I got. I got one. Okay, I'm looking for something else, but I'm just like finding all these things. I'm like, wow, I forgot I had that. <laughs> Honeycomb, DTA. Mojito. Okay, I got a recipe. I just oh, need on. one pipette. Oh, come on, man. You know, if I wouldn't buy everything at different times, I would know exactly where they are. I really got to get this room put together. I keep saying it. It's going to be my New Year's resolution. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Ben's here from South Africa. Hi, Ben. You're with you. I have um, some advocacy links for South Africa. Yes. Okay. Um, I found this box. Let's check the other ones. Okay, so this one. I have, I have a yogurt something, too, from BTA. Hi, Cody. Hold up. Next box. <laughs> nice, Tim. All right, so where we are? Where'd my recipe go? There it is. Pudding base. Okay. Pumpkin at point six. That's not it. Let's check here. I put a big old fat drop in there, DeMillan. There it goes. Big old fat drop. I got the big bottle. Grill um, them. Point three. What's calling this one? This is a big one. What what cookie are you using, Addy? I'm using FA cookie and Perillum cookie. At uh -huh. one and a half, one and a half a piece. Oh my god, that vanilla cookie smells so good. We should have added some walnuts. Walnuts. I get a little bit of walnut flavor from the F.A. Mix Nuts. I do. <laughs> I just feel like it's all about nuts. It's all about them nuts, Wendy. Um, all right, so I'm not buying my cookie Okay, cookie. Wait, three. Okay, check this one, that one. Okay, this has got to be here somewhere. Yeah, using a scale really makes it a lot easier, Nate. Huh? Nate said he's got to obviously get got to get a scale. Yeah, um, you can buy one. Um, pretty inexpensive on on Amazon. I actually looked one up for somebody the other day. It was a really good price, and I actually use it for other things, so I know that it works. Yeah, you some people to... just use the cheap uh, weed scales. As long as it goes to a uh, hundredth of a gram, you're good. Yep. Two points past the decimal. Yeah, hundredth of a gram. If you're talking. <laughs> oh my God, I can't find it. I'm getting mad. We've used it before, haven't we? What? Yeah, I have a, I have a pretty big word uh, folder, <laughs> Mallory. <laughs> yeah, Mowgli, I, I, I didn't get into ELR later on, and by, at that time I had a lot of flavor, so it was just a daunting task, but when he's when he got me up there to uh, put a lot of them in there. Yep, sure did. 
And you're getting a lot in there too. <laughs> Point one. Recipe, just save them. A little heavy handed on the sweet cream to melon. That'll be all right. Yeah. It'll, it'll just be sweeter. Wow, I have a lot of freaking stuff in there. I have so much backups that my backups have backups. <laughs> backing it up. I'm backing it up like a bitch at the club. <laughs> all right, I 2.76, now we'll say 23. <laughs> Somewhere where I'll be able to reach it. Next. Looking for 15. 15. Come on, 15. Come 15. Looking for the damn sweet cream. Three. Yep. 25. I'm on my new pair of shoes. <laughs> Two point. Man, I almost nailed it without even trying to melon. Oh, I'm at point 96. <laughs> oh, close, but no cigar. Oh, so close. 0.01. Oh, it was in the wrong aisle, but it was... Oh, got it. All that freaking work for nothing. What were you looking for? The sweet cream. Oh. You didn't find it? Yeah, I just found it. You know where it was? I, have, I have VT and I have one-on-one. -on -one, and it was in the one-on-one -on -one right below it where it was supposed to be on the VT. Bastard. Fucker. The nerve. <laughs> it where it was supposed to be. It wasn't where it was supposed to be. Let me get my super sweet. Let me add it to my recipe. Okay. We're not adding anything else, right? Just the three? Yeah, let's just go for that. Okay. Pumpkin cookie. Ooh. All right. So save this. Okay. Oh, wow. My handy dandy scotch tape. My handy dandy got to get my bottle. <laughs> What's it going to be, Wendy? Should I use? Oh, I didn't look that. I guess what? I'll use my regular. What? I got my, I washed out my tugboat, but I didn't wick it. Ah, uh, well, you got time because I'm just mixing now. Your tugboat? <laughs> yeah, okay. well, I, I washed five Eddies today and I only wicked two of them. What's your process for washing them? Um, warm water and a toothbrush. That's ah. What I do. I like my Dawn, my Dawn. And if it's a if it's a strong flavor, I just spray some like alcohol, and then wash it again with soap and water. And that seems to work for me. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Five, one. Ten. And then we need the sweet cream, the one that took me a fucking year to find. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, it was a little weird with Instagram being down most of the day. Yeah, I know, especially for your mom. Yeah, her Facebook, she was... <laughs> Chrome broke. Her and my sister, they freaking live for Facebook. You know, she gets her news off of Facebook. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that's that's the real shit. I know. And me and my wife are going, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. That smells so good. That freaking vanilla cookie. Yeah, it had me going through the paces. I was rebooting my computer and doing all kinds of stuff. Saying, where's my Facebook? Where's my, where's my damn? Where's my damn friends? Yeah, I got my alert on my phone. It just alerted me. That's how important it was. Okay, I'm ready to go. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let us put some boom in it. Boom. <laughs> oh, I should have got all, all those wonder flavors. All the milkshake wonder flavors out. Yeah. Well, you've got time. People had to be people-y for a while. <laughs> so 
Yeah, Grant, well, it's just a daunting task. Well, I mean, I didn't get a scale till last year, so <laughs> or like a, a year and a half ago. And then he was on the move. We should have turned this into a one, two, three. One sweet cream, two vanilla cookies, three pumpkin. Um, you said no one for the sweet cream because that'll be too much. Um, cream filling. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And can you imagine adding the um well the pumpkin would have to be the three, so the vanilla cookie would be at a two. And you told me not to do the two that was the min. You said it's too strong. It's really strong. So you can't go three, two, one if you can't do the two and the one. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Three to ones are fun, but they're really hard to do. Yeah. I like to see for to me, like the spice and the uh, eggnog milkshake is perfect. We're, we're not making the milkshake yet, are we? No, I'm just vaping it. I'm, I had to turn my bottle upside down. <laughs> Which one is that one? Eggnog milkshake. Oh, I thought you said pumpkin milkshake for a minute. I was like, how the fuck did you make the pumpkin milkshake? I got to pull the flavors yet. Vanilla thick, uh, Italian gelato. Yes. All the good shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so, so wanting to try this. And now I only have one more week left. So use a cheesecake in place of the sweet cream. Is that a good idea or not? What are you talking about? You can use a cheesecake and place Yeah, sauce. that's a good idea, Mallory. Yeah, you could do it, but low, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. It'd add, add a little bit of, well, depending on what cheesecake you got. Add a little gram to the cookie base. That'd be nice. For you. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I did? I had my air hole aimed at uh, me, and I just filled it. <laughs> <laughs> it tripped on my I always do that. I usually have e liquid all over my pants because I'll still something be like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Hi, I Scott. Oxy in there again. Hey, Scott. Hi, Scott. Mm. Yum. Okay, so. Mm -mm -mm. Not smelling pumpkin. Thick French vanilla. Do you smell the pumpkin? A little bit. I haven't fired it yet. I was just smelling it out of the bottle. Let me try to get the thing to fire it. Let me find out which one is this. Okay, that's the drink. Oh, but it dropped the bottle at Italian. I bet it's going to be <laughs> good. Get the Italian. The Italian one and then the TPA vanilla bean ice cream. Yeah. That one turns out really good. Yeah. It's like the perfect, like. Great, great combo there, Wendy. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm going to put my other flavors away. I'm smelling the cooking one than anything. I'll probably be sorry because we'll say, oh, it needs a little bit more of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be digging again. Hi, Nems. No, but what's great? Hi, Nems. What's great is that, yeah. that that milkshake recipe has been working for everything that we've tried with. That's both, Scott. Yes. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. Waiting for me. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, smoking in your face. Mmm, yum. Mine's good. Needs more cookie. <laughs> this wheat cream worked good for mine. It, I can't taste the pumpkin. I can, like, 
when I breathe through my nose, not with the vapor, but afterwards, then I can like feel the pumpkin, but I don't taste the pumpkin. Is the how's the pumpkin feel? Is like a nice hefty one? No, but soggy. Small one, the soggy, the little soggy one. You know how you can get those little small pumpkins? Yes. Yeah, it's like this big. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, <laughs> fucking old. <laughs> Whatever it is, I wish I would have made a thirty of it because it's pretty good. Just wants more pumpkin. I feel like it's got too much cookie. Let's leave it for a few minutes and see if it builds. Mm. While we make the pumpkin milkshake. Heck yeah! Oh god. <laughs> I got to get all those flavorings out. It's only I'll this many. Just, let's just leave them on your desk to melt. <laughs> Jeez. Let's make the apple pear thing instead with caramel. I've been wanting to make pumpkin for how long now? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I just want to know. And I was told the story of you can't because, you know, for instance, it's not fall yet. <sighs> <laughs> and I waited. I put it on the list. Damn it. I mean, if you really don't want to, we don't have to, but. I love VSO lemon. No, oh, it's so good. But then I'm going to be like this all night. Yeah. I, want, I want the pumpkin. She's going to email you at two in the morning. <laughs> I can't sleep. I'm angry with you, DeMillon. <laughs> I know. The dagger's in my heart. But I like the, the flavor of the cookie. It's definitely yes. different than the other cookies that we've gotten. I remember yeah. the punk. The, yeah, I'm thinking the punk will come out a little bit more. All right, we'll let we'll let that sit for just a few. You know how usually while we're sitting here trying things, it'll oh, change in like five minutes. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. So I'll wait. It's not like I don't have patience. Do you have any other pumpkin? Not me. <laughs> no. No, because I think I was gonna get the other pumpkins, but then Freshie stopped me and told me that it has most of them have cinnamon in them. Yep. So um, I couldn't do it because of that. So yeah. yeah, the pumpkin spice definitely does a flavora. Yeah. Spicy um VSO lemons is, is good. It's like a natural lemon with just a hint of sweetness to it. It's really good. It's not like a not like a lemonade, but you can surely use it in a lemonade recipe. Right. The hell? Yeah, Growl VSO's chocolate's amazing. Sorry, DeMillon. Ah, uh, I wish I could say that too. I've been trying. I've been trying hard to get that chocolate out for you. That'd be nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and. I keep putting it in the back of his mind. Hopefully, they'll do it next release. What are they doing? I'm trying to talk Bryson from Flavor to make a chocolate. Oh, a good one that she can have? Okay, yeah, because yeah, she can taste the chocolate and the creme de menthe. Yeah, so if we can use just that chocolate. And it's chocolate. like a really nice dark chocolate in there. Ooh. Yeah, that would be nice. Then that's all I would bake. Because you like chocolate. Got it. I oh, love spicy. Chocolate. Who doesn't? Yeah, Bristol um, VSO has a brandy too. It's really nice. Like really nice. <laughs> really good. <laughs> we we'll maybe get the uh, Mandalorian on in here and talk about some booze recipes. Yeah, we'll booze it up, baby. Heck yeah. Okay. <laughs> blasphemy chocolate is blasphemy advocate for liberty said the millen <laughs> chocolate is a lie <laughs> so why should we put the pumpkin at three i think so i go for the highest that you can go when it's when it tastes that like i don't know swaggy how can how come how can we push your pumpkin how far can we push it can we do like four only because this milkshake is like a Burger King milkshake. It's really nice, 
thick vanilla. -y. And I want to make sure that that pumpkin comes through. Yeah, we used three three percent of um, eggnog in the, and that almost got squashed by the ice cream base. Well, it did of, the milkshake base. <laughs> can I add some pumpkin spice, even though you can't? Sure, you can do whatever the heck you want, the Millen. I don't know. She's awful strict. <laughs> 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 but just don't tell her and say, "Man, it's really good." Well, I can always add my holiday spice in it. You could holiday spice. If you want to add spice, I'll just add holiday and you add pumpkin. But that's not fair because then you get double pumpkin. I want to add the pumpkin pie from Nicotine River. I have that one. How is that one? I don't know. It sounds good, though, doesn't it? It does. Sounds so freaking good. Yeah, all I have is pumpkin bread and pumpkin. That's it. Those are two that I got. You can push any of my flavors as high as you want. You will never, never get any yucky. You can do five or six. So four, we can start at four and see what happens. What do you think? That sounds good. Okay, so we'll do four. And I don't know. Let's taste it that way and see if we need the spice. What do you think? Okay. Because we can always just redo it, you know, and just add some spice to it. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin milkshake, yay. I am so excited. Cookie and snaps. I hide it. I so do you have the recipe yet? yet? Um, I'm about to share it now. Awesome. I'm trying to share and it's not letting me. Hold on. Did I yeah, share it? No. Oh, there it is. oh, there it is. Of course, it's almost the last one I pulled. Um, duh. You saw me <laughs> hunting for that damn vanilla. I know it for that cream. Okay, so here we go. Oh. In chat. And yeah, the melon. Yeah. That river pumpkin pie. It's got some nice spice note to it. So it's got cinnamon in it. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Probably why I didn't get it. There's definitely nutmeg in there too. Is there cinnamon? Oh, nutmeg and eggnog. I think there's a touch, but there's it's it's a whole lot of nutmeg. It's nice. Okay, so we need. Did you get it? I put it in chat. I got it. Thank you. Okay, so we need French vanilla thick right here. Look at all those flavorings. <laughs> Marshmallow. Is it, is it verified yet, the melon? The melon, to be fair, we, you don't have to take the pumpkin out again. <laughs> There's seven flavorings, but that's including the uh, pumpkin. Super sweet. Yeah, and you're not even going to use that. So, really, technically, it's only six. Vanilla tea, ice cream, got a big one right here. Vanilla cream extra right here. Vanilla gelato right here. I pulled some VTA bakery spice. Ooh. Sweet cream. That's a lot of clove in there. Mm. Oh, yuck. One, Sorry. Two. Four, five. Sorry, Wendy. I said I said the C <laughs> word. <laughs> I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why do I have eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who's here that doesn't belong? Vanilla cookie. Get One out. One of these things is. There's the vanilla cookie and would not leave. Hi, Canadian vapor. Canadian. We're making pumpkin milkshake using my my milkshake base. Hi, Andrew. Struggling Albany, New York. Shit is horrible getting juice, but in corner stores. Wow, you can get it in corner stores? It's awesome. No, we're done with the pumpkin cookie. Now we're on the pumpkin milkshake because... Yeah, freaking oh. piece of shit Cuomo. That, that, Kathy Hochul's following right in his footsteps. I hate these people. Did I say that? <laughs> French vanilla tick. I got that one. Yeah, it's the tick one. The tick, tick oh, one. Oh, I forgot about the marshmallow vanilla. Yeah, that's the one you made me buy, so that's why I keep using Heck it. Heck yeah. <laughs> Until it's gone, we're going to keep making this milkshake. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Oh, and shipping went up oh, like almost a dollar. Wow. For a um, small priority box. Bastards. They're bastards for sure. Pumpkin. 
Yeah, it's like nine dollars and thirty cents now for a small priority box. I told you that it went up. Remember? Yeah. The article I, the article lied to me. They said yep. it was just first class and bulk going up. Nope. It's everything. They lie. Unless you uh, read it on Facebook, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rarely there. <laughs> only if something I left you on Facebook, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to log in. I know. And then I get inundated, right? Yeah. And you get lost on there for however many hours. Especially with that new like um, thing that's like TikTok on it. Yeah, it brings all the shit in your main page. Yeah. Super sweet. Little bean. Extra. Cream. Gelato. Pumpkin, my favorite. <laughs> are you putting spice in yours, Wendy, or are you just going to wait and see? I'm going to wait to see at the end. Because the pumpkin has its own spice, and then I'll, I'll, maybe I'll even use the holiday spice afterward, but I want to try it without it. The pumpkin's coming out in our cookie. Well, in mine, anyway. Oh. I can taste it a lot more now. Yeah. That's why I said to give it a chance, you know? Because every time that we've been vaping, you're like, hey, it tastes even better now. That's nice. I think my wife might like this one. Oh, that'd be so cool. Just for the holidays, dear. Just for the holidays. <laughs> Can you imagine vaping that around somebody for the holidays? And they'll be like, oh my God, where's the pumpkin? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who picked up the pumpkin? <laughs> Nobody. We're just faking it. We got some friends coming over Friday. He's a vapor. Aw. Yeah, maybe oh, I'll make him. I don't taste the pumpkin. Maybe I'll make him a bite. You don't? Mm. Three, two, it'll be three, seven. Hmm. Perfect. Millen, you okay over there? Yeah, I'm still getting my flavors. Okay, just checking on you. You know, I feel for you, right? <laughs> Millen, you know I love you. I know. <laughs> I don't do it on purpose, but you could just leave them out from now. <laughs> <laughs> you could just have a special case that's just, and it's labeled milkshake. Or you can get one of those, what do they call them? Ghost boxes or the boxes that, you know, it's like a picture box, but it's got that space in it. Just, yeah, leave the uh, the Wendy hot, the hot flavorings. Yeah. Have a Wendy box ready. Yeah, just like, and every time we're like milkshake, just grab it off. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to change this to a 20, I think. Oh, yes, you need a 20. Oh, you're making a 25. Oh, no, I just, I see it now. I was like, what? I'm not going to fit in here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a 20. Here we go. Oh, man. I wish I had the 30 mil bottles. I have to get some 30s. I only have these. And yeah. like, I still have room. I could probably make 20 out of it. I wonder what size I bought. Oh, I wonder why you, were, you started doing smaller recipes. Well, I mean, it's probably good to save on base right now and nicotine and everything else, right? Well, no, I've been making smaller recipes because sometimes, like, I'm already vaping on something and, like, I'm really into it. And then I'm like, well, I know I'm not going to get to it. And then I'm going to forget all about it. So. Yeah. I know. Then you end up with a whole bunch of stuff on your desk. Like I have right now. Like, I've got at least 20 that are sitting right here. I've, passed. I've got the strawberry macaroon. I've got the butter bread. I've got the gelato, the crema. I've got the biscuit from Addy. I've got the pound town. Pound that's, it, baby. That's from May. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I, you know, if I make the big ones, then I have big ones everywhere, and I'm wasting them. 
Because you know me, I do e-liquid reviews. I've been <laughs> commercial. I mean, that's also good. So if you make a small one that you really, really like, then you make a big one. Exactly. That's what I've been doing. Remember when I was like, when you were like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm making a big one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 0.38. That'll be three, four. Five. Kind of excited to see what the pumpkin's like at four. Me too. You might be able to bump it up over there. Eight. Hey. Okay, I'm getting close now. Jamelon, you okay? Yeah, I'm doing good. Okay, just checking. Don't want you to be mad at me. No. <laughs> doing real good. Two drops of sweet. That pumpkin cookie, though, right, Jamelon? That pumpkin cookie, though. So, <laughs> you know, point seven. Okay. Oh, we're never doing ice cream. The point seven, the pumpkin? No, the pumpkin was point eight. Oh, so it's a vanilla point, bean? Vanilla bean ice cream, yeah. <laughs> I guess it. I'm so excited about this that I can't hide it. So I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I want you. I want you. <laughs> How old is Bentley now? Um still the still baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's like um eight and a half months now. I was gonna say it's gotta be getting close to no wait. He's Almost I I, nine months. Yeah, he's almost nine months. So I, I remember it being pretty cold when he was born. Yep. Not too cold, cold though, because I was wearing the shirt when I picked him up. Two four for the extra. Because I love me some Bentley. So I'm going away in a couple of weeks. Where are you going? I had to go visit my sister. I've been oh, nice. That'll be nice. It'll be so cool. That'll be really nice because usually she visits you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I got someone to take care of my dog, so I'm I'm good. You're gonna nice. leave the baby. I know I gotta leave her. That's a real mom. <laughs> you driving or flying? Flying. Thanks. Just for an uh, extra week long weekend. This Friday to Monday. So I won't um, be here on that day. I'm going to show them my uh, Oculus. It'll be fun. All right. You got to bring your Vax card to fly now? I'm going to. And I didn't know whether or not I should be bringing my uh, passport or whatever. Do you have to have a passport too? It, it makes it easier. I, mean, I don't know if you need it, but it sure makes it easier because they're so used to handling passports. Oh, this smells pretty good, Wendy. Yeah, it does. Come on, take your time because I got to rewake. Okay, I'm almost done anyway. No, I mean, take your time. I got to rewake. <laughs> <laughs> 21. Rewick here. Damn it, I don't have a dirty napkin. Come on, be a dirty boy. Be a dirty boy. Call to re -wicking. Uh, Pumpkin milk. Pumpkin milk. Yes. Ooh, yeah, I should have called it. No, I want to call it my chick because it brings all the boys to my yard. <laughs> should I throw in that pumpkin pie just for shits and giggles? I don't feel like giggling, but okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, how much are you going to put it in at? 
I don't know, like maybe. Uh... You want to try it first and then put it in there? Yeah, I'll try it first. We were going to put the spice in it afterwards if we needed it, remember? That's right. I mean, but if you really, really want to, you can. I just love this pumpkin flavor. I like everything pumpkin. Heck yeah, me too. There's all sorts of pumpkin patches around here. It's great. I know, and there's pumpkin candles. <laughs> and apples are in season now, so all the fresh apples are out. It's just a great time to be alive. Yeah, heck yeah. It's fall, like falling in love and falling <laughs> in love. And My wife um, loves the cooler temperatures. Yeah, I wish. I'm still waiting for it to be cool so I can open up my freaking windows. My freaking AC keeps going up. It's almost up to 300 already. Damn. Scott says this is the month you need the real ID to fly. I thought they changed it out to like 2023 for that real ID. You have to get a what? Who said that? Scott Runyon. Oh. Yeah, might want to call the airlines to make sure to Mellon. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> you think? Yeah. I'll just, bring, I'll just bring my passport. That'd be the same thing, right? Between my passport and my driver's license, I should be able to go anywhere. Because I know if you want to go to Canada now, you have to actually download, a, you have to have a smartphone and you have to have to put an app on your phone and then you have to get COVID test, quick COVID tested. It has to be within 72 hours. Wow. To go to Canada. Yeah, it's crazy. Because that's where my sister and her husband are going. They have a cottage there. Oh, wow. So they couldn't go over there for more than a year to check on their property or nothing. I smell it. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, I'm flying in the States from California to Oregon then. It'll be the first time I've been on a plane since the whole outbreak. Um, it's probably not a long flight, right? What is it? Three, four hours? Oh, no, it's only uh, less than two hours. Oh, good. Because I was thinking about that, too. You were sitting there with a mask on, you can't even take a damn drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they say not to eat or drink when you're on a plane. Not anymore. Well, what if you get thirsty and you're choking and you need water? And I always eat M&Ms when I'm on a plane. Well, you better stuff them in your mask and just eat them right out of the, like, get one of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll see your Be the first to create a mask pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and That's then it's wonderful, pocket. BSO. I love it. It's right down the hill for me. 15 bucks on a taxi. Really? Yeah. I want to go to San Francisco because I want to see a trolley. I want to get on a trolley and I want to see that bridge. The one that's really red. Well, the golden is it like, bridge? Yeah, hey, it's not golden. It's red. Like Kate Ashbury is where the trolleys run. It's Isn't it really run down with a bunch of mm. pretty run down there, right, Millen? Actually, it's stepped up in the world, but now it's gotten to be all uh, boutiques. And oh, well, they cleaned it up? Like highfalutin boutiques and stuff. Yeah. But there's still all the druggies walking around. It still has a Haight-Ashbury kind of feel to it, though. But they do have a lot more stores down there now. Mm, excuse me. I used to have to take a um, a streetcar to work before. That was pretty fun. Really? That sounds fun. It was part of my commute because I had to go up to the Fairmont uh, Hotel. Cool. And that was like the only way to really get there. You got a lot of stories I got to hear sometime, Demilla. I know. Demilla <laughs> comes out with this and it's like, where the fuck were you last week when we needed a story? 
I know it's funny. I take people around the city and it's like, I built that, built that, built that, built that. <laughs> They got all these cool tools for electricians now, like for stripping wire. It's just a, a little socket you put on the end of your dr cordless drill for stripping the insulation off the big fat wire, like the two watt and bigger. Yeah. It doesn't uh, take the uh, expertise that we all had to learn. Oh my God. Yeah. My wrist, hurt, my wrist are just thinking about it. <laughs> Man, my hands. Just in the clines. I think now we're going to have to up the pumpkin. Have we tasted it? Nope. I'm still waiting. I keep smelling it. <sighs> smells good. Yeah, it smells good. I just think we might need a little bit more pumpkin. I think so. Smells good. Are we ready? Ready? Cheers. Finally Cheers. get my pumpkin milkshake. <laughs> no, it's yummy. Good. It's yummy. I wish I had a little bit more pumpkin, though. I'm going to add that pumpkin to it. You're going to add the pumpkin pie? Yeah. I think I'm going to raise up my pumpkin to five. Can Should I add that spice or no? 10. It's up to you. How I'm much percentage on a 15 to add for one? I, I get a little bit of that spice at 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 five at four. I'm getting a little bit of that spice. So you if it's it? a, if it's a point six at four, how much for five? Um what I usually do is no, for me, it was 0.8. So I'll just um, go in and, and uh, change the recipe. Yeah, I know. I was going to And do see that. what, I know it. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. It was 0.6. Well, you'd have to see what going to be. kind of percentage was. 0.6. Four was eight. Now it'll be 0.75. So add five is 20%. You would raise it by 20%, by 0.2. Point fifteen, it says. I'm only doing fifteen milks. I mean, yeah, multiply your whatever you put in there by point two, and then add that much. Oh, okay, so point fifteen. I just added one and a half percent. Oh, the pumpkin pie. It smells really, really good. That river pumpkin pie. What'd you try to sub out, Bob? Bob tried to sub something on the eggnog milkshake and it didn't work. <laughs> One six. Oh, I'm sorry. So I, I was trying to say I'm sorry, but I was giggling. <laughs> Don't change my recipe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I need to make point fifteen. Hold on. My shit turned red. Something went wrong with the numbers and the PGVG ratio. Why? Oh, I hate that. I, I'm cool with the mask nems. I'll be wearing a mask for sure the whole way. Stuffed with that uh, peanut M and M's. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna take her mask off. She'd be all dripping with a chocolate. Why is my PGVG going different now? I got an error message. Because you did the uh, pre-done thing. Oh what? Just put on Max VG. Okay. And I'll fix it. It fixed it. You're so smart. <laughs> this is why you're my bestest friend. There we go. Oh, yeah, the, the airplanes aren't playing anymore, man. They're they want to up the fine to like uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars if you be disruptive on a plane now. So I guess I won't stand up and scream. I'm scared. No. <laughs> I'm a scared. You don't like flying on planes? I'm scared of heights, so I don't I don't want to go on a plane. My wife's terrified. She's scared of heights too? Yep. Oh good. Tell her I feel her. I like how fast they go. 
it's pretty uh -huh. cool, like blasting in the back of your seat when they're taking off down the runway. Yeah, that's the part I like. I mean, back years ago, I've been on flights where there was only like 20 people on them. So there's so much less weight. It's like, you know, you're in like a rocket. It's like, wow. Because it's so lighter, so much lighter. No, I'm stupid. Like, I'm scared of heights, but I have to sit by the window. It's so oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, seeing the no, sights out the window, it's amazing. It's a control thing because when you're scared of heights, you're not supposed to be by the window. But it's like, for me, it's like a control thing. If I can see outside, I know what's going to happen. Like when the engine starts on fire? <laughs> yeah. No, but otherwise I feel like almost like not just claustrophobic, but almost blind if I can't see out. It's really weird. It freaks me out a little bit when the wings start, you know, like bouncing and oh, flapping. Yeah. <laughs> and falling off. <laughs> yeah, I, I always, uh, people say, what does an earthquake feel like? It feels like airplane turbulence. Oh, really? That's what an earthquake feels like, yeah. So 5% five, 5 VSO pumpkin. Captain Spicy wants a mushroom bake. Yuck. <laughs> All right. Um, Bob says put in TPA French vanilla cream. And that was the raw move. I'm not a desserty guy, so I don't know these flavorings very Just because well. it says French doesn't mean it's the same. Nope. <laughs> and plus, we were using Italian. <laughs> no, the French vanilla thick is a totally <laughs> different. Okay, I'm smelling more pop more popcorn. I'm smelling more pumpkin. That's nice. Did you put more too? Yeah, I put I put the five in. Mm -hmm. I added another percent. Yeah, it's nice. You can the spices bring coming out a little bit more now. Oh, I'm so excited. That's the exact flavor I was going for. Right there. That's the flavor I wanted for my pumpkin milkshake. So if you want a more pumpkin in your cookie, you know, you can go way higher on the VSO now. Oh my God, that's really good. Yeah, it's yummy. Yeah, I think I should share that. Pumpkin milkshake. How's the uh, pumpkin pie to Millen in yours? It tastes kind of funny. <laughs> you wrecked it? I gotta wait till it simmers down. It it it's got a funny taste to it. It smelled really good, but that doesn't mean anything, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it tastes it tastes good, but it's different. Different how? It's different. Yeah, those little planes, man. Those little hopper planes. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, no, I'm on normal planes. This is really, really good. Yeah, good yes, job, Wendy. Yes, yes, girl. You got it. It's coming. It's saving. This came out really, really good. Oh, thank, thank you, Ember, for the subscription. Yay. Look at you. You're a YouTuber. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many subs do you got now, Hattie? Oh, I have no, I have no He's idea. A I know um, when Fresh wasn't starting to, starting not to feel good, we had, uh, we were having Danielle Jones on and uh, so we ended up having her on my channel. So it's kind of, it was maybe kind of cool, feel pretty cool that I have Danielle Jones on video on my channel. That's, That's awesome. awesome. That's the way of the world, baby. That's saying yeah. something. I love listening to her. Her voice is just she is amazing. Yeah. 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 She does amazing things for Kasa. Yeah, it's really good, Wendy. Holy shit, that's good. Right? This is good. 
It turned out like so pumpkin. It, it turned out like the perfect, like literally a pumpkin milkshake. Like we were making one from scratch using the pumpkin filling, you know, and a homemade vanilla yep. milk. Hi, Todd. Um, pumpkin milkshake. Yeah, Danielle's pretty awesome. And those videos, she, the truth about vaping video she's done. I got to put that link out there. Yeah, she does great videos. There you go, guys. It's in chat. Wow, Addie has 450 subs. Damn. Amazing. There's somebody. <laughs> Thanks, guys. They're going to start getting a check cut to you. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I clicked right. off of advertisements. I don't even know. YouTube's changed so much since when I started my channel. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Don't worry if it doesn't feel like you won't you won't have any ads. You won't. But there's still <laughs> ads. But it'll tell you that it's been limited. But it hasn't really because they're still putting ads. But you're not going to get paid. For <laughs> yeah, do it. Just just my name right in the when I chat. Just it's that name. I have seventy six. Nice. Woohoo! Look at you go. This came out really, really good, guys. Yummy. yummy. I think it has too. Yummy. Hi, Todd. How are you? Didn't see you sneak in there. That's the thing. I have so many links now. It's hard. It's hard to <laughs> find them now. <laughs> it really is. Do, 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 do. I like that video we had Phil on. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I like the uh, backdrops I kept putting up. And he's like, oh, I remember that. I remember oh, that's that. a good idea, Cherokee. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. Going up. Just looking through links. Sorry, I'm being quiet. So you think you got you want to put more pumpkin in your cookie, Wendy? Yeah, but you, I don't want to. I don't want to mellow out the cookie. How long does it take for the cookie to come through? It just keeps growing and growing and growing. Oh, so it's like a penis. It's a thrower, <laughs> not a shower. <laughs> Look, I already lost it. Where the fuck did I put it? Pumpkin milk. That's shake. funny, swaggy. <laughs> Pumpkin cookie. I'm going to try it again. Funny, there was a lot of people on Twitter today because all the other ones were down. <laughs> yeah, they need to be somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, I'm subscribed to you too, Addie. Oh, thank you, Wendy. You put a new video out today. Yes, I did. Hey, Wendy, you need to make a pumpkin spice latte vape juice. That sounds like we a plan. That sounds like something we definitely need to make. Does this um does this uh cookie the the FA vanilla cookie? Yeah, does it does it have like butter? I don't know. It's cookie. I know, but I'm getting like a butter flavor in it. Um, there is some pre-diacetyl components in it, so it would it would be buttery. Okay, good. Because I, I just want to make sure that I'm tasting the right thing. Because it's starting to it, the cookie's starting to definitely grow. Yeah, I think we should put more. Annie, what do you think? Um, I, I use a different cookie base because I don't have the FA one. No, but I about the pumpkin. Oh, I love it. Three. Should we I'll go think, to the four? Yeah, I think I think so. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna add some more to mine. I'm gonna move up to four. Oh, okay. here's Danielle. There's okay. her videos. Pumpkin 0.45. 0.45, and now it's 
Oh, Graw subscribed to me. Thank you, Graw. Oh, nice. Ah, I gotta subscribe to you too. I gotta fix this first. I don't do anything on the channel. You don't gotta subscribe. <laughs> I did it when I was I was doing a show before, and I I was making these uh um like slideshows of different um addies and mods and stuff. Uh huh. So there's a bunch of videos on there, but they're all like um there's no voice to them because. I would do them on the show and talk over it on the show. So there's just a bunch of weird videos on my channel. I love diacetyl too. Spicy. What is on my channel? <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. Did I take that porn down? I moved it to OnlyFans. You know, the pumpkin really grew in my cookie. That's what he said. I agree, Abdul. There's like 500 times more diacetyl in a cigarette than there is even in the worst e-liquid back in the day. And nobody's ever gotten popcorn lung from smoking. Nope. But I mean, that's your choice. But again, they did die, but it's okay. <laughs> Just say. Ah, that's what that's what Mowgli said. He said they had yeah. more diacetyl in cigarettes than e juice. Grawl says, I think I have two or three kitty bid bids. Yeah, old Vape TV, DeMillon. No, I wasn't on Vape TV. I was on uh, this other conglomeration of shows. But I did, show, the... I did a show with Munchkin. And I did a show with Tandy and Three Dog. Oh, cool. That was fun. We had a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing the whole time. Awesome. Yes, yeah, Scott, I don't have any, I don't have any K funds left. They're all gone. You have the 2018 Vape Expo. I got one more 28 and a half millimeter K fund, and I promised it to two people, so I have to, I have to decide who's going to get it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Flip a coin. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Vic and Scuba and Arm Vapor all on a show. Who was that, that girl from the U.S. that um, Vic used to have on all the time? She was a riot. Oh, that's uh, Gwen. Yeah, Gwen, yep. Tabitha, put an I after the M. It's D-M-I-L-I-N. Hi, Stu. We made some... Yeah, uh, put it in chat. Some damn fine recipes, if I can say so myself. Here's the melon. Right here is the melon. And then here is Addie's. Thank you, Wendy fam. You're welcome. And now I got to put Wendy's beauty channel link out there, too. Here's Addie. Oh, thanks, Wendy. You're welcome. I got you out there. Everybody should subscribe to them because they're on the show every week. Because, you know, just you want to see Wendy, it doesn't care what kind of content she puts out. Even her beauty channel content's good. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Thanks, Todd, Todd Chucker. Chucker. Thanks, Todd Chucker. Hey, and so by the way, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, you might want to. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Just saying, you know. Since you're here, <laughs> if you and Wendy, Wendy even makes lets me make fun of her her uh, sparkly palettes. I really like sparkle though. I do too. <laughs> you're welcome, Tabitha. I think it came out more. I like the pumpkin in it now. It's, they didn't overpower the cookie. You upped it to four to four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not a major change, so. You're not getting too much pumpkin. It blends really nice. It tastes like a pumpkin cookie. A buttery pumpkin cookie, maybe. So is that vanilla cookie all that that I said it was? Oh, yeah. And a bag of chips. And a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, like, roughly chips? Like, 
Ruffles? Oh, it's got to be Ruffles because that's the only thing that will hold the dip. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cherokee. Not much to look at on my channel, like I said. Hey, Liz. Why is this not letting me share it? Hey, Liz. Let's see if this will work. Mm. Well, which I have, have uh, my wife, Jean, try the pumpkin milkshake or the pumpkin cookie? Milkshake. Start with milkshake first. Okay. And then the cookie. Thanks, Captain Spicy. But you might want to put just a little bit of sweetener. <laughs> She's not going to try it, too. What's for dinner tonight? Hi, Sue. How are you? Uh, dinner tonight. I forgot about dinner. I'm hungry, though. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you, Cloud Checker. How do I sub, sub to Wendy's channel? Captain Spicy said. Just go down to the description and just click sub, uh, subscribe. There you go. You it's got that right, VSO. <laughs> That's exactly who I was on that uh, conglomeration of channels. What what was that called? I can't even remember. Jeez. You used, I, you used to go watch Vape TV too, though. You'd be in the chat, wouldn't you? Oh, I was in the chat. Yeah, I remember seeing you in the chat with tiny, tiny vapor and that, yeah. that crew. Vaping Underground, that's what it was. Vaping Underground channel. Did you read Scott's message? I would build a throne made from, from the skulls of your enemies for an attic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you going to make a Swiss cheese flavor? That would be cool. I like Swiss cheese. One, one has some uh, savory flavors like that. I think they have a cheese. Yum. The fresh is did a, like a chili with a little bit of that one, one on one cheese on it. <laughs> some VSO onion. Oh, that onion and garlic. Holy moly. Yum. That garlic bread that turned into uh, Thanksgiving stuffing. I know, but it was <laughs> such a good garlic bread, it though. It was good. That turned out great. The old timey vapor. Yeah, what was this? Was it Smoking Joe? What was his name? Joe Vapor, that was on. Vapor Joe. Vapor Joe, that's it. Yeah, I can't believe that he was on South Park. Oh, that's so fucking cool. On one of the shows. That's funny. I really like this pumpkin milkshake. Yeah, now what do we got now? The uh everybody who turn in their PMTAs and got denied. Now they put out the rules that they needed. Freaking really? month. Yeah. BSO. Yeah. Was, FDA put out a. Well, uh, how does that fear with all the money that they spent putting it together yeah. to submit? Millions and millions of people wasted. And now they put out more rules today. And yeah, they can't they resubmit? Two people are already suing. All right. I think they should all get together and sue it, because it, you then it works more. The more that you have, the better your case. Yeah. A class, act, class action. Hi, Robin. That's really fucked up. That, that that makes me really mad. Yeah, Twitter's on fire today. Oh well, you know, Facebook was down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been on there like every day since this this whole vape tax started. Oh my god! I'm just. Oh, it just makes me, I get so angry and I literally, and I know this sounds stupid because like I'm all, you know, fun and games or whatever, but I literally sit on Twitter. If I'm on there too long, I just start crying. Yeah. Well, it's, I'm, you're I'm so replying and reposting and all that, you know, or whatever you call it, retweeting or, yeah, but I'm literally crying and then it, it messes with my, my, um, depression. So I have to like make myself. Oh, I laugh. understand. Yeah, there's a lot of people that can't go on there because it's just it's so it's it just pisses me off so bad, and you can't. It's like fighting it's like, the air. You can't fight it. It's, you feel helpless over there. I'm just in for the long haul. I'm just going to be a needle needle in the in their side. Oh yeah, no, I get on there. I do my my stuff, but I just can't do it every single day because of that. You know. Um, 
I want to, and I, I advocate to everybody I talk to and, you know, I have my links. Oh yeah. Always, you know, oh, you do great. You do great. Wendy. I'm not saying that it's just, oh, uh, no, I know, but I just, you know, I, just, it's just so frustrating. I really, well, you know, every time we talk about shit like this, I really, yeah. <laughs> and, and I'll take a break. I'll take a couple weeks off and it's just, I, I got to step away for a while. Cause it's frustrating. Yep. And just like everybody else is frustrated, but just like I said before, it takes more than one. You can't sit back and expect everybody else to do it and you not do it. And you say, oh, I'll do that later. Or so-and-so is doing it. We all have to band together and everybody needs to do it. Not just three people or five people or a thousand out of seven million. You know, it's got to be more people. Yeah. And that, sure. that's what, what gets me, especially when people are like, you know, they'll ask a question about it. And I know that they've been on Twitter and I've seen them on Twitter. And I'm like, how can you ask? You follow me. I post this stuff. I repost all that. How do you not know what's going on? Yeah, that's tough. The new people that I know that don't understand what's going on, you know, the newer vapors, you know, some of, most of them don't know because when they go into these vape shops, the vape shops are not giving them the information that they need. So oh, absolutely right. Yeah, that's what was a big, huge fail. And the, the thing is, is that's a face to face. You can't get better than a face. Right. Absolutely. Make a little card or something to hand out saying, hey, I, I printed I cards. I printed folders, everything. And just to put out in my vape shop. They don't hand them out. You know, they promised me they would, but I go back and they're they're still there. That's that's stupid. That just I mean, what better way that you're getting new vapors? That means more vapors. You're getting the people that are coming back to buy coils because, you know, they're all coming back. I know you, it's supporting your business to keep the exactly. keep it alive. But and then, then it's all about the sale. Got to make a sale, them. make a sale, get them out, get them in. But then we can't help them stay open. You know? <laughs> Thanks, God. But I mean, we have one thing going on our side now that a lot of scientists or harm reduction scientists are getting on our side because yeah. they're sick of the FDA lies and lies from everybody. Yeah, the Truth Initiative and... and um, there is, actually, I just don't understand how... Okay, if you and me, you or me goes out and we put out something in the media that's false, and I'm talking about like in the news or whatever you know out there really big platforms where you're in you know having interviews or something and we say lies we get called on yeah we get ripped apart but yet the fda or not the fda but truth initiative and the parents against vaping or whatever the, i forget yep, Dave, yep all these people can go out there and fucking lie we have proof that they were actually getting kids to say things that were not true Yep. They were forcing kids to vape so that they could say they're vaping. They were doing all this illegal shit and they just kept going. Well, look at their bank account compared to our bank account. There's no, it's all about who's got the most money is going to win. But that's not right. It's not right. Who has the commercials? It's Who like has the radio to spots? I mean, I hear it all the time on the radio and on TV, all these anti-smoke vaping things. Yeah, I know. Well, the smoking rates went down so far. They All these um, tax, tax shelter societies that were making all this money for do-nothing salaries, they didn't have anything to do anymore. They started losing money and funding and everything else. So that's why they had to start attack, attacking vaping. Man. Because they had... You know, smoking rates went down, so they didn't have jobs anymore to do. Yeah, but again, it just like I said from the beginning, if they would have gotten in on the beginning, yeah, they could. It's their fault. It's not ours. It's not the vaping community's fault. It's not the people that came up with the devices and stuff to get people off of smoking. It was them being ignorant and being greedy yeah. that they could have gotten in on it. And actually, you know what? Maybe with the backing of their money, we could have had the good stuff that we have out now back a few years ago. Yeah. You know? the, the progression of all these different devices and the improvements and things all could have happened back in the day. Yeah. You know, and we would have had so many more vapors. Well, you know, I mean, history history is going to come back and bite them in the ass. 
And it just really frustrates me because that was on them. And it just makes me want to just say, you're the idiot. You didn't think this was, you thought this was a fad. You thought that this was going to be something that wasn't going to work, but it worked. And then you're pushing flavored gums, tobacco flavored, your gum, Chantex that is now, they, they're finding out, now oh. they're finding out, has cancer causing things in it, which it was already killing people from, from committing suicide because of the mental um, issues that it was giving people. 535 suicides that they know that they're telling us about. Yeah, right. Okay. And yeah. murderers. I, can, and... I know of 35 people. No, 530. Yeah. That. Right. Yeah. You know, but that there's been people that have gotten mouth sores. And, and if I'm not mistaken, I heard a story. This was years ago. And that's why I wouldn't buy the gum that they got mouth cancer from it. And this was years ago. This must have been like eight, maybe nine years. Well, ago. I mean, nicotine doesn't cause cancer. So, you know, that's not true. I know, but that was a story that was coming out from that. Um, there was another thing that was a uh, burning. I know that that was true because yeah, that that's true. Happened. Yeah. When I was trying the patch, when I would take it off, I would have the red mark all around it because I was allergic to it. Yep. And <laughs> yeah, that happened. Those mints are really nasty. Don't ever try them. I've tried the gum, the mint, the patch, um, Chantix. I had to get off because then they found out I was bipolar and they were like, yeah, you need off. Um, because I got really, really bad. Um, I yeah, tried I, the mint turned me green. Huh? The mints turned me green because it was too much nicotine, and I was just like, it tasted hurl. like you were literally licking an ashtray. It's horrible. It was the most disgusting flavor ever. I yeah. was like, and the thing is, is when I went to the store, I'm like, oh, they have mints. This has got to be good. I went and bought like three packs. I really wanted to quit. And I'm like, well, I want to have enough. So I don't want, I tasted one and I, I literally threw up in my mouth and threw them away. It was the most disgusting thing ever. Wow. That was just a waste of space right there. So if, if anybody out there hasn't done that call to action, I just posted, please uh, think about yeah, sign up for, if nothing else, sign up for it so that you can get word as to what's going on. They email you and send you information so that you know what is happening in the vaping community. And they'll let you know. They even have those templates in there so that you can go ahead and contact your own government and um, your government officials. Directly. Yep. It goes by state and everything. Yeah, it's really, they make it really easy. And you can actually get as involved as you want. Exactly. So, I mean, you really want to sign up for that. Definitely thanks for, want to sign up for that. Yeah. Thanks for the subscriptions, you guys. It was nice. Ha ha. Y'all got, <laughs> got subs. Now, now you got to turn out some videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Subs, they're going to expect some, some stuff, you know? All okay. right, you guys. I mentioned, I mentioned for some, for 18 holes here. All right. She's going to win again. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Oh, yeah, Chevy. See? And there, there's some bad news. But thank you, everybody, for being here. We really appreciate it. We had a lot of fun. The recipes are in the chat. So you can go ahead and watch the replay and get them from the chat. I'll also, can I leave those in the, in the description? Or is that, like, illegal? Recipes in the description? Yeah. I don't know. I oh, wouldn't. Take a chance. You can find me on ELR, Wendy Bates. It's really, really easy. But, and it'll be in the most recent recipes. All you got to do is if you go into yep. ELR and you just, you're right there, it'll be right there, one of the first. One word, but, Wendy Bates, one word. Yeah, Wendy Bates. That's it. That's it. That's all you got. But thank you, everybody, for being here. We love each and every one of you. Thank you all for the newcomers that just showed up today. We really, really appreciate it. And we love you. We hope to see you back again. Thank you from everybody outside of the United States that has come and join us. We're really, really pleased when we see somebody from another country. Really exciting. So thank you so much. And we love each and every one of you. You guys have a great week, a great night. And we will be back next week with another 